Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Can my battleship be upgraded? Chapter 1. Carrying a battleship game auxiliary system with you, you can travel to an interstellar era where battleships are the representative of the supreme force. The interstellar era of giant ships and galaxies can be called the ultimate romance for men. Wang Dong believes that his journey through time has a wonderful beginning and will also have a perfect ending. Unfortunately, his life only lasted a short 34 years. At the age of 20, Wang Dong had an adventure and obtained a battleship that could continuously evolve and grow. But he also got into a series of troubles because of his lack of confidentiality and objective factors. In the end, after obtaining the battleship, Wang Dong was basically being chased all the way. Relying on the help of the auxiliary system, after struggling for more than 10 years, he was still ambushed and beaten to death. Fortunately, the one-time hiding function of the auxiliary system allowed him to go back to more than 10 years ago. At the age of 20, he was about to have that life-changing adventure. In the third minute of rebirth, Wang Dong basically accepted this fact. Destiny is so love-hateful, because she is usually secretive, but at the most critical moment, she will suddenly give you the biggest surprise. One second, he was experiencing the feeling of dying in the shattered battleship. The next second, he was bathing in the rusty breeze and enjoying the solid feeling of his feet firmly on the surface of the planet. Brother Wang Dong, have you picked out the spaceship? Once done, go to work as soon as possible. There are still people queuing up behind you. The unshaven administrator urged with a smile. For mining companies, high-quality miners like Wang Dong who do not cause trouble and are very profitable or very popular trading partners, so naturally they will be given more preferential treatment. If other miners were procrastinating like this and spent a full 10 minutes choosing a rental spaceship, they would have been yelled at with spit on their faces. How could they be so gentle? Over the past few decades, the auxiliary system has become an inseparable part of Wang Dong's life. According to the data description stationed in the upper right corner of the field of view, Wang Dong singled out the one in the best condition among the dozens of mining spacecraft in the spacecraft parking area. Compared with other spaceships, in Wang Dong's auxiliary vision, all parts of the hull of this mine master too are in a good green state. There is also an overall assessment value. F-Class Near-Air Mining Spacecraft. Status. 91%. No growth potential. The Mine Master 2 Near-Air Mining Spacecraft is more than 100 years old, but here, it is considered a first-class good product. The streamlined body, which is rare among near-air mining spacecraft, makes it look particularly elegant. The F-Level rating means that it is at an inferior level among near-air mining spacecrafts. But compared to this mining planet in a remote star field, it's actually pretty good. This is the Mine Master Type 2. Please third brother, please give me permission. Wang Dong smiled. Okay. Administrator Zhou Laosan opened the portable optical computer on his wrist, quickly selected the Mine Master Type 2 pointed by Wang Dong in the list, and then touched it with Wang Dong's portable optical computer to complete the authorization. Wang Dong calmly exhaled the login interface of the spacecraft, and with the help of the tractor beam, he entered the cockpit of the spacecraft familiarly. Just like before, even though he has actually not touched this old mining spacecraft for more than 10 years. Don't ask, asking means strength. Retrieving the body's muscle memory is actually not that difficult. The 53-meter long hull, driven by the nozzles of four high-power industrial heavy particle engines, easily left the berth and soared upwards. Until it breaks out of the planet's atmosphere and steps into the universe. After adjusting the automatic navigation route, Wang Dong breathed a sigh of relief. It wasn't until this moment, when he was calm again in the vast, cold and vast space of the universe, that Wang Dong could really soothe his nerves a little. Rebirth came too quickly, and he still needed to let his thoughts fly for a while. This is planet KQ-03, the only habitable planet in the Blackstone Barren mining area. Wang Dong lived here for a full 20 years in his previous life. A-D-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E when I looked back, I realized that I still didn't understand it well enough. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong knew its revolution period, autobiography period, and even orbit, as well as the asteroid belt mining area near it that contained rich mineral types. He also knew that there were 13 million people living on KQ-03, three mining companies were stationed there, and there was a relatively complete primary metallurgical industrial system on the planet. 
The most powerful person is the consul appointed by the barony, who has a permanent escort of 12 warships. In addition to the above information, at that time, Wang Dong did not know that among the various forces on KQ-03, the loudest one was the Kongxia Chamber of Commerce, the best businessman was the Tianyu Caravan, and the most well-informed one was the Kingfisher Guild. Without knowing anything about this, even if he subconsciously concealed the adventures he encountered later. Unexpectedly, the so-called cover-up not only exposed the truth to the eyes of those who were interested, but also became a traceable clue and some kind of intelligence commodity, sold everywhere. Not knowing both myself and the enemy, it is no wonder that Wang Dong in his previous life ended up in that end. Outbound assistance system, Wang Dong thought, and in his mind, a familiar blue interface appeared in response to the thought. Battleship game auxiliary system, resident function 1, scanning. Resident function 2, high-speed human computer data interaction unavailable. Optional function 1, different space signal capture unavailable. Optional function 2, double the module growth value cannot be used. Optional function 3, self-selected module features cannot be used. Advanced function 1, double the source point acquisition cannot be used. Advanced function 2, lifting the restriction on different space civilization levels unusable. Comma, the auxiliary system has many functions, but currently, the only one that can be used normally is, scan. This permanent function allows Wang Dong to identify the quality and status of the spacecraft and shipboard modules wherever he looks. At the moment of rebirth, Wang Dong was relying on this permanent function to identify the one in the best condition among the mining spacecraft that had been regularly maintained at the birth. This was also the biggest capital Wang Dong relied on to become an excellent miner and accumulate his first pot of gold in his previous life. Every time I choose a spaceship, it is better and in better condition than others. As long as the technology is qualified, the harvest will be no different. Apart from this permanent function, there is nothing else. It says, unavailable, different from the ignorance in his previous life. Wang Dong now knows that the main function of this battleship game auxiliary system cannot be fully utilized until he has a suitable battleship. Its functions are very practical and powerful. The only regret is that the threshold for use is a bit high. A battleship is basically an unattainable dream for ordinary civilians, such as the current Wang Dong. The system is intact and seems to be exactly the same as before the rebirth. But Wang Dong knows that there are still some differences. The only hidden function of the system is to provide a not-too-long-time look back. Wang Dong has already consumed this only opportunity. This is the information given by the system after rebirth. Fortunately, the time of rebirth was just right. All regrets have not had time to happen. Wang Dong gets a real chance to make a comeback. In the previous life, after traveling to such an interstellar era where human civilization spread across the planets, I was equipped with a system-type golden finger exclusive to the protagonist. Wang Dong is happy and full of ambition. My talents are bound to be useful, let alone a time traveler with a golden finger, who is not born to do big things. Any realization of self-worth is just drizzle. It is true that I have not made any contribution to the entire human civilization and I am embarrassed to say hello to others. Unfortunately, reality will always slap you in the face like ice rain. Until you are photographed like a pig head and have to face the bleak life. In this life, Wang Dong would not dare to be so naive again. From KQ-03 to the asteroid belt mining area, it takes about 13 hours with the high power engine of the Mine Master 2. The routes en route have already been cleaned and maintained regularly. There is no need for Wang Dong to drive manually throughout the entire journey. After entering the automatic navigation stage, it can be completely controlled by the shipboard optical brain. After setting the number 2 entrance to the mining area as the destination, Wang Dong left the console. Methodically go through a set of stretches, then a set of core activation exercises, and finally, advanced muscle training for the upper body. The amount of exercise is not small, it takes a full hour. Wang Dong was sweating profusely. If you haven't practiced physical training, your physical fitness is still a bit poor. Shaking his head, Wang Dong muttered to himself with some dissatisfaction. Unfortunately, the entry requirements for the privileged class to control the training requirements of body training are too difficult in a remote place like the Mining Star region. 
From ancient times to the present, the existence of classes has always been unavoidable in human civilization. This is true even in the interstellar era where theoretical productivity far exceeds actual demand. Compared with the planetary age, the privileged class in the interstellar age has made its position more stable by virtue of the various high-end resources it controls or monopolizes. In the interstellar age, the absolute gap between classes is far greater than in the planetary age. But Wang Dong is not worried about this. The current time is June 1st, star calendar 10103, which is only 10 days away from the turning point of fate in the previous life. If all goes well, Wang Dong will be able to reach that level in 10 days. Wang Dong was accustomed to using celestial calendars instead of using some local chronometric calendar. The revolution and autobiography periods of each planet are different. The definitions of 24 hours in a day rotation period and 365 days in a year revolution period are only applicable to the hometown of mankind, Blue Star. Therefore, strictly speaking, each planet has a time calendar that matches the actual specific conditions of that planet. But for groups that live in the universe for a long time, or often travel between multiple planets, it is obvious that a fixed time calendar is still needed as a standard calendar to facilitate time calculation. Ephemeris is such an existence. According to the algorithm of 24 hours a day and 365 days a year, a timing calendar is set that can be used throughout human civilization. 13 hours passed by in a flash. In the process of sorting out the context in his mind, Mind Master Type 2 has already arrived at his destination. Arrived at the second entrance of the asteroid belt mining area, the automatic navigation is about to end, please switch to manual mode in time. The prompt tone of the shipboard optical brain is monotonous and boring. This Mind Master 2 near air mining spacecraft is not only an old model, but also a low profile one. Even the personalized voice prompt function is not enabled. Lao Niu, who was in charge of purchasing, was still so stingy as expected. Wang Dong has already taken a seat on the operating table in advance. After hearing the beep, pull the joystick to switch the driving mode. In the asteroid belt with complex airspace conditions, using the automatic navigation mode of the ship-based optical brain would not be a problem for the 486 level optical brain of the Mine Master 2. People really can't do it. The asteroid belt mining areas in the starry sky are not like the mining areas on the planet's ground, which have fixed locations. It is always in motion. Just like the planets are always revolving around the star. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E whether it is relative to the outside or inside the asteroid belt, it is in a state of motion all the time. So the so-called entrance number 2 does not refer to a certain entrance in the asteroid belt. It's because here, the mining company has built a relatively fixed micro-advance base in the airspace close to the asteroid belt. To help miners accurately locate and have certain logistical support. Controlling the Mine Master Type 2, Wang Dong easily moved the spacecraft to the forward base at the second entrance. This is a spindle-shaped steel structure, dark and solid. There are regular lights flashing on it, like a heartwarming traveler's cabin in the dark wilderness. It is a beacon for interstellar miners. How is it going? After connecting to the local area network short-range communication with the forward base as the node, Wang Dong asked the observers in the forward base while turning on the detector on the Mine Master 2 to observe the asteroid belt not far away. The flow rate is normal, and the next window period should arrive within an hour. Brother Dong, welcome to your arrival. A passionate and energetic female voice came. Wang Dong was stunned for a moment and blinked. Leah, is it your turn to be on duty today? It's the first week of this month, of course I'm on duty. Brother Dong, you even forgot which class the cutest little Leah is in. It's really sad. The passionate female voice turned into a fake sadness but it was so artificial that you could hear it immediately. It's her, it's her, she has blonde hair, blue eyes, a big face, a height of 180 and a weight of 180, the patron saint of all interstellar miners, Xiao Leah. Wang Dong couldn't help but hear the magical melody in his mind. This is a warm and cheerful elder sister who can always infect others with her warmth. In the dead universe, it is a kind of happiness to feel this kind of warmth. After all, I haven't seen her for more than 10 years, so it's normal to forget her schedule. Now, having just returned from rebirth, 
Wang Dong said he didn't care if there was anything unusual about this performance. Occasionally forgetting the scheduler's shift is no big deal. Except for Leah, the enthusiastic eldest sister, there are not many staff on duty at the forward base that the miners can care about. He laughed and ignored the elder sister's joke. Wang Dong chatted with her for a while, mainly about the recent trends in the asteroid belt and whether there were any abnormal changes. Although the impression from the previous life was that the mining area in this asteroid belt was always relatively stable, one cannot be too cautious when it comes to matters related to one's own life and safety. This is also the habit of all interstellar miners. Life is your own. If you don't even value it yourself, who do you expect to value it for you? That's right, Lao Shi also chose entrance number two this time, please pay attention. Finally, Leah gave Wang Dong a small warning. Lao Shi. Wang Dong thought for a while, combined with the familiar surroundings, and finally pulled the long-standing memory out of his mind. After traveling through time, with the help of Goldfinger, Wang Dong was able to select the one with the best ship condition among a group of mining ships every time. Moreover, with the help of Golden Finger, Wang Dong can grasp the specific situation of his spacecraft in real time. Then, when necessary, give full play to the ultimate performance of the spacecraft you pilot. Therefore, Wang Dong, who has abundant capital, can often go deep into the mining area and bring back more harvest than other miners. Although Wang Dong concealed the existence of the Golden Finger well, it is inevitable that some people will be jealous when the final harvest is placed. Lao Shi is one of them. Before Wang Dong, Lao Shi was the boss of this group of interstellar miners. Because he has good skills and good luck. Even if his character is not good, it does not affect his status. After Wang Dong arrived, his rapid progress directly affected Lao Shi's status among the miners. So, Lao Shi focused on Wang Dong. Hey, isn't this our star miner, Brother Dong? Brother Dong, Brother Dong, my mining technology is not good can you give me some advice on how to do it? Said Sao 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 has arrived. During the LAN communication, a greasy voice suddenly broke in. In Wang Dong's mind, a corresponding image of a greasy middle-aged man appeared. Mediterranean head shape, plump lips, and a pair of dull little eyes. Vomit. Wang Dong suddenly felt a little resentful about his good memory function. Why can I remember this kind of inferior information so well? Your brain is already mature, why don't you know how to be more conscious and clean it regularly? After pondering for a moment, Wang Dong did not reply with a venomous tongue. Whether it was before traveling to this interstellar era or the previous life before rebirth, Wang Dong was not the kind of talent who could show off his power verbally. Therefore, facing this kind of provocation, he would only choose to respond in the same way as before. Hey, let's fight, if you want to fight, then fight, it's that simple. Yohu, there's another good show to watch. Come on, come on, I'll open the bank, Lao Shi will pay 1.5 points for every win, Brother Dong will pay 1.1 for every win. Gambler, you don't want your life. Brother Dong is very happy to see Brother Dong beating Lao Shi. Are you afraid of losing your life if you dare to open the bank? Don't be afraid, the worst I can do is go to the mines and work for nothing. What if Brother Dong lets Lao Shi win? Hey, hey, you guys understand. I understand, I understand, Lishui Villa. Hey, Brother Dong, why do you have to say the word, sigh, first every time? Nonsense, if I wanted to know, I would have done it too. Ha ha ha, the communication channel was suddenly filled with a cheerful atmosphere. There are many miners gathered around the advance base, waiting for the window period in the asteroid belt. Everyone was happy to see Wang Dong give the most direct response as always. The cold and dead starry sky, the boring mining career, without this optimistic attitude of seizing all the interesting things, would be too difficult. Naturally, the most direct collision between men makes it easier to ignite passion. As soon as Wang Dong's declaration of war came out, Lao Shi's goal was achieved, but he was still not honest. He still kept chattering. It wasn't that he was verbose, but that he wanted to stir up Wang Dong's emotions through a verbal attack. Wang Dong directly set his speech-to-text display in the communication channel, and his ears were relieved. The competition between miners naturally relies not on the pitiful low-power self-defense laser gun on the mining spacecraft. 
This kind of self-defense laser gun cannot penetrate even G1 level aviation steel plates, which are the lowest threshold level for entering the universe. It can basically only deal with ultra-small space junk. Miners, of course, are competing for their job skills, such as spacecraft control, or mining operations. The next thing Wang Dong and Lao Shi will compete is who can control the spacecraft and enter deeper into the mining area. The asteroid belt mining area is already famous for its complex airspace conditions. The deeper you go, the more variables there are and the airspace conditions become more complex. The mining spaceship that goes deep into it will be destroyed if it is not careful. Of course, if you pay, you will gain. The deeper the mining area, the richer the mineral veins contained. The more inaccessible the place, the better preserved the mineral veins are. As long as you can enter smoothly, the harvest will be much higher than the edge areas of the mining area. The ability to reach deeper parts of the mining area is one of the important factors in measuring the level of an interstellar miner. This kind of competition is also the way that best reflects the courage and skill of miners. Naturally, it will trigger a fanatical pursuit among miners. This is not the first time that Lao Shi has provoked Wang Dong to compete with him. Wang Dong knew his thoughts very well. Lao Shi always believed that the reason why Wang Dong was able to reap more harvests than other miners every time must be because he had some unknown information in the mining area. Rather than a purely technical issue. In terms of spacecraft control technology and mining technology, Lao Shi does not think he is inferior to Wang Dong. Perhaps, Wang Dong discovered a large-scale mineral vein enrichment zone. Or to find out some operating rules of the asteroid belt mining area. Or some other unknown secret. Lao Shi often followed Wang Dong intentionally or unintentionally when he was mining, trying to find out Wang Dong's secrets in this way. He also provoked Wang Dong from time to time. Wang Dong was very annoyed with this guy who looked like brown sugar. With good technology and control over the performance of the spacecraft, it is not difficult to get rid of Lao Shi as long as you put in a little effort. But even if you throw him away 10 or 20 times. Next time, Lao Shi will use his greasy middle-aged male voice to provoke him again. Or follow Wang Dong silently. Like a buzzing fly that keeps flying around. It makes people want to pull out its intestines, wrap it around his neck dozens of times, and then pull it hard. Wow! The world is quieter. In fact, Wang Dong did this in his previous life. It was after this competition that Lao Shi disappeared from Wang Dong's life forever. The world was indeed quiet, but it was a pity that it was only quiet for a while. But troubles follow closely behind him like a shadow. The old rule is to set off as soon as the window period comes and decide the outcome based on the road map after the final return. It was still the greasy middle-aged male voice, Lao Shi reiterated the rules of the competition. Can, Wang Dong readily agreed. The asteroid belt is always in a flow state. Because of different sizes and masses, as well as different turbulent trajectories, the celestial bodies in the asteroid belt also move at different speeds. At the outermost edge of the asteroid belt, there is often a turbulent belt composed of small and microscopic objects. These small and micro-celestial bodies orbit at the periphery of the asteroid belt at relatively high speeds. They are enough to pose a fatal threat to short-range mining spacecraft with weak armor and thin skin. Once hit by these high-speed moving celestial bodies, the mining spacecraft cannot withstand a few hits. If vital parts are damaged, often even the rescue cabin cannot protect the miners' lives. Therefore, before official mining, Mining companies will organize special operation ships to find ways to clean up the turbulence on the outermost edge of this layer. It is not expected to completely cut off this layer of turbulence. Under the motion of celestial bodies, that would be too costly. But it is still necessary to slim down this layer of turbulence. After cleaning, the turbulence in the outermost layer of the asteroid belt will become much sparser, so that for a period of time, there will often be a short clearance period. This is what the miners call the window period. With the help of the window period, these near-air mining spacecraft of Wang Dong and other miners can safely enter the asteroid belt mining area for operations. Observation and forecasting during the window period is also one of the main purposes of the existence of the forward base. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E Time passed quickly. This observation from the forward base is still accurate. The window period came on time. There is no need to issue an order. 
As soon as the window appears, both Wang Dong's mine overlord Type 2 and Lao Shi's near air overlord generation start their engines. Controlling the spacecraft, he resolutely crossed the turbulent layer and entered the mining area with a skillful flying attitude. In the cockpit of the Mine Master 2, the magnetic restraint straps firmly fixed Wang Dong to the seat in front of the operating console. Before entering the mining area, Wang Dong turned off the self-gravity generation system on the spacecraft and allocated the saved power to the eight lateral azimuth adjustment engines on the side of the Mine Master 2 hull. Hold the eight-axis rudder in front of you and push the engine power to one-third. Wang Dong felt sincerely happy. The feeling of driving it with your own hands is always so fulfilling. The only regret is that the one on board is not the battleship from the previous life, but only a Mine Master 2 near-air mining spacecraft. The near-air mining spacecraft is only slightly better than the space shuttle. Compared with the deep space mining spacecraft that has formal level armor and can even compete with ordinary armed spacecraft, the near space mining spacecraft is really just a younger brother. Compared with the Tomahawk destroyer that Wang Dong piloted in his previous life, the Mine Master 2 was really lackluster in terms of propulsion, acceleration performance, and even maneuverability such as direction-changing flight attitude control. But it also has advantages. The Mine Master Type 2, which does not need to consider confrontational factors such as battleship protection, has eight azimuth adjustment engines spread across the hull, which is twice as many as the four of ordinary battleships. Even among close-altitude mining spacecraft that pay more attention to flight attitude adjustment, this advantage of the Mine Master 2 is quite prominent. Like the close-air overlord driven by Lao Shi, there are only six positions to adjust the engine. And as the time spent driving the Mine Master 2 increased, Wang Dong quickly retrieved all the memories of this type of mining spacecraft from his memory. Very easily, the Mine Overlord Type 2, at a speed visible to the naked eye, left behind Lao Shi's close air overlord generation and took the lead in the competition. Wang Dong fully utilized the advantages brought by the 8-axis adjustment engine. In the asteroid belt with complex airspace conditions, Wang Dong's Mine Master 2 relies on its 8 azimuth adjustment engines to flexibly adjust the Mine Master 2 to make various subtle turns in a small space. Without reducing the thrust of the main engine and maintaining a higher speed, it can travel in the asteroid belt mining area. Lao Shi gritted his teeth and followed Wang Dong closely. As for driving skills, with nearly 20 years of experience, he is considered quite good among the miners. Usually, in the competition between him and Wang Dong, although he basically loses, the gap is only a small amount. There is no qualitative difference. But this time something is different. Wang Dong in front, the Mine Master 2, seems to be more agile than before. The control of certain details is inconspicuous at first glance, just a hint of roundness. But when hundreds of such details are superimposed together, the gap becomes apparent. Originally, at the edge of this mining area, Lao Shi's level was enough to fight Wang Dong to death. But in fact, after entering the mining area, in less than 10 minutes, Wang Dong's Mine Master 2 took an absolute lead, leaving Lao Shi struggling to catch up. This is far from reaching Wang Dong's limit. He still had time to organize the memories in his mind. How did you deal with it last time? It seems that you were annoyed to death, so you just got angry and tried to drain the firepower. Wang Dong frowned and thought for a moment, remembering the specific tricks he performed before his rebirth. The number 3 azimuth adjustment engine on the lower side of the hull of the close air overlord that Lao Shi chose today has not been properly maintained. The scanning function of the auxiliary system resident in Wang Dong's field of view has already discovered this. This part, in the scanning interface, is displayed in yellow instead of green with full performance. Represents poor condition. Then entering the mining area, Wang Dong took the lead and firmly controlled the rhythm, making multiple flight route choices that suddenly changed direction. Throughout the process, the hidden dangers of adjusting the engine's position on Lao Shi's close air overlord were deliberately induced. After just half an hour, the overloaded operation overloaded the already poor azimuth adjustment engine and paralyzed its performance. Under normal circumstances, just an overload paralysis of the azimuth adjustment engine will not lead to too serious consequences. The remaining five azimuth adjustment engines can compensate for this. At best, the adjustment of the flight attitude becomes a bit sluggish. But where is this? Asteroid belt mining area. Moreover, under the leadership of Wang Dong, they have already reached a certain level. 
In the extremely complex and changeable airspace conditions, even if the performance is intact, you must be careful and focused, and there is no room for such a sudden failure. Lao Shi's generation of near-space overlords adjusted the engine in that direction and overloaded it and paralyzed it. As a result, the flight attitude was out of control and it collided sideways with an asteroid that was supposed to pass by. The impact was not serious, it was just a side collision that damaged a few armor plates. But the next chain reaction was not so easy. The first impact was just an introduction. It directly caused the near-air overlord generation to completely lose its stable flight attitude. In normal space, the flight attitude can be slowly readjusted. But in the asteroid belt mining area, this is a fatal mistake. After Lao Shi's generation of near-air hegemons lost its flying attitude, it was instantly involved in a turbulent flow. Under the complex gravitational environment, it constantly collided with small celestial bodies around it, and finally crashed directly into an asteroid with a diameter of more than a kilometer. The experienced veteran Shi himself started the separation process of the rescue capsule immediately after the impact, and luckily avoided the fate of the near-air overlord generation. Wang Dong had an opportunity to lend a helping hand. He did take action. Although he was annoyed by Lao Shi, it was not to the point where he would not save him. An accident was enough for Lao Shi to have a good drink, and it also made Wang Dong angry. It's a pity that Lao Shi's rescue capsule did not last his good luck until the end. More than one space meteorite was thrown out of the turbulence at high speed in the chaos caused by the near-sky overlord one, and directly hit Lao Shi's rescue capsule. The cabin was destroyed on the spot and everyone died. Wang Dong had no choice but to let the wreckage of Lao Shi's life capsule get lost in the asteroid belt. It was the interstellar miner's funeral. It was originally a clever setup to solve a problem, and it was quite perfect. It's not Wang Dong who caused Lao Shi's death. Both the black box on Wang Dong's ship and the black box on Lao Shi's ship can prove this. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T -E -E Unfortunately, things in the world are not always as expected. The unexpected death of Lao Shi led to the pursuit of Lao Shi's family. Wang Dong later found out that Lao Shi, a silent guy, was actually a distant relative of the mine owner. Normally it doesn't matter, but when someone dies in a mining area, Distant relatives are still relatives after all, and they have to give an explanation. So Wang Dong was targeted. Wang Dong naturally refused to ask for huge compensation. Lao Shi's sons, using the power of the mine owners, created many obstacles for Wang Dong and even entangled Wang Dong completely. This later brought a lot of trouble to Wang Dong. There are some abnormalities in itself, but it originally seemed to be within a reasonable range. But once it is amplified by attention, it will inevitably attract additional attention. However, Wang Dong, who was unaware of the incident, no longer had the so-called confidentiality when dealing with certain matters. This time, Wang Dong will certainly not be as impulsive and violent as before his rebirth. That way may be more relieving. Controllability is poor. If the perpetrator cannot control the development of the situation, it is a failed incident. Wang Dong who had gone through many hardships in his previous life, turned back to deal with the piece of brown sugar from Lao Shi. He just rolled his eyes and had three or four plans. In the long run, death would be the best option for this kind of old man. Not to mention his several lowly sons, even the mine owner himself, Wang Dong has a way to solve it. But not now. If he, a butterfly, has not had time to flap his wings, or in other words, if he does not flap his wings sufficiently. Then in just 10 days, Wang Dong will usher in a turning point in fate. Of course, with opportunities come great risks. At this critical moment, any unnecessary trouble must be avoided as much as possible. Don't say that Wang Dong suffered a loss in this matter in his previous life. Even if there is no further trouble after dealing with Lao Shi, Wang Dong will not do such a thing with the cautious habits he has developed during his years of escape. He chose to use the most direct and simple method to temporarily deal with Lao Shi's piece of candy. It was what Wang Dong had shown before that truly surpassed Lao Shi's level of spaceship piloting skills. Just like a racing car, if you throw the other person away so much that you can't even see the taillights of the car, then what face does he have to continue to pester you? Today's Lao Shi has this feeling of decadence and powerlessness. The gap is just too big. After just over 10 minutes of chasing, Wang Dong's Mind Master 2 completely disappeared from his sight. 
although the near space detector on his spacecraft can still see the reminder light spot of the Mine Master 2. But what's the point? It is only a matter of time before the Mine Master 2 escapes from the range of the detector. Looking at Wang Dong's route, it was basically a straight line heading deep into the mining area. The complexity of the airspace conditions, and the flashing red dots on the detector that almost filled the screen, made Lao Shi's self-knowledge instantly light up. If you can't even see the engine jets at the rear of the spacecraft, how can you talk about catching up? A fixed route is given to you, and you don't dare to enter the complex airspace conditions, let alone tracking. At this moment, Lao Shi realized. He felt that he had discovered Wa Dian, the kind that did not require blind students to explain. Regardless of whether Wang Dong was teasing him before. Just with the spacecraft control skills he has shown now, Wang Dong's mining range is enough to beat others by several levels. So Wang Dong always gets a bumper harvest from mining, so what's the problem? Even if there is a problem, you can't catch it if you chase it. If you can catch up and dare not follow into the depths of the mining area, how can you talk about discovering the secret? Lao Shi doesn't know. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong's technical level was at best a step above him. In terms of rating, it is considered to be the pinnacle of the veteran level, close to the elite level. After his rebirth, with many years of combat experience, Wang Dong's spacecraft control skills have easily broken through to the elite level, and it is also the pinnacle of the elite level. It's a whole rank higher than Lao Shi. What was shown was the complete beating just now. With a well-timed show off of his skills, Wang Dong succeeded in misleading Lao Shi intentionally or unintentionally. The reason why Wang Dong reaped rich rewards every time was because of his outstanding spaceship driving skills, which allowed him to dare to go deep into small areas that others dare not go into. Mining deep within the planetary belt. The veins there are richer and the quality of the ore is higher. This kind of misleading is enough to temporarily dispel some of Lao Shi's delusions. As for Wang Dong, what he needs is actually this period of temporary. Lao Shi gave up chasing and didn't mention it. Wang Dong has put this matter behind him. Lao Shi is also an experienced old miner. He is enough to deal with most situations unless Wang Dong deliberately seduces him into the depths of the mining area. In the outer areas of the mining area, the airspace conditions are not that complicated. Even if a certain azimuth adjustment engine fails, there is still room for maneuvering and adjustment. What's more, poor condition doesn't necessarily lead to damage. In the previous life, without Wang Dong's intentional actions, the azimuth adjustment engine on the Lao Shi ship would not have been overloaded so easily. Wang Dong has other business matters during this trip. Mining has to be done, and it would be too unusual to go back without mining a little bit. Wang Dong, who has been reborn, is really cautious now. But the key points still need to be made clear. Wang Dong's purpose is to try to collect some energy crystals. Energy crystal can also be regarded as a mineral. Its composition is exceptionally pure. It is a certain crystalline substance with complex production conditions and has many uses. Energy crystals rarely have independent veins and are often associated with other veins. There are multiple grades depending on the degree of energy compression of the crystal itself. The permanent function of the system on Wang Dong only requires some physical energy. However, after activation, the use of various functions will consume energy crystals. I didn't know about the system before it was activated in the previous life. After I got the ownership of the battleship and the system was officially activated, something embarrassing happened. Many functions require the consumption of energy crystals, and they cannot be used immediately without energy crystals. Now that he knows the news in advance, he will naturally not waste time. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T -E -E The mineral veins contained in this asteroid belt mining area in the airspace near KQ-03 are not of high quality, but Wang Dong does not dislike even low-level energy crystals. What's more, in the early stages, the system's demand for low-level energy crystals is even higher. Continuing deeper into the mining area, after 30 minutes, the Mine Master 2 slowly slowed down. It should be almost done. Wang Dong assessed the depth. Going further in, even with the driving skills he brought back after his rebirth, it would be a bit reluctant. In fact, Wang Dong would not have gone deep into the mining area to this extent if it were not for energy crystallization. 
For valuable minerals like energy crystals, the chances are obviously higher in the depths than in the periphery of the asteroid belt mining area. The periphery of the mining area is visited more often, so even if there are energy crystals, the chance of being mined is very high. Switching the detector's mode to mineral exploration, Wang Dong patiently controlled the airship to cruise around. Keep the particle stream emitted by the detector's external antenna aimed at the target, and wait for a period of varying lengths of time based on the size and texture of the celestial body being detected, and a detection report will be generated. While Wang Dong carefully paid attention to the surrounding airspace environment, he controlled the spacecraft and maintained a relatively stable flight attitude to ensure that the detected particle flow did not break away from the target celestial body. This is a technical job. Of course, it is also physical work. Not every asteroid or asteroid fragment will contain minerals. Moreover, minerals have different values depending on their types. With such a large volume, the results are available in 32 seconds. It is most likely garbage. Sure enough, it's iron ore. 28 seconds, ha, copper mine, garbage. Comma, talking to oneself is one of the common habits of interstellar miners. The complex celestial environment in the asteroid belt mining area makes long-distance communication very difficult. In this case, using self-talk to relieve emotions such as tension or anxiety has become a natural choice. For more than an hour, Wang Dong carefully investigated small celestial bodies that may contain minerals in the nearby airspace one by one. The results are not optimistic. Not to mention the energy crystals he hoped for, even relatively high-value mineral types have not been discovered. But Wang Dong was not discouraged at all. A miner. Even interstellar miners are still miserable. Don't you see that miner's song? One, two, three, four, five. Mining is really hard. All you dig is copper, and the purity is five. The same goes for interstellar miners. In the interstellar age, conventional minerals like copper and iron are really worthless. However, it is often these minerals that are most abundant. Relying on this cheap mineral alone, even if the cargo hold is filled every time, there is no profit. Mining also requires capital. Just spending a few hours on screening is nothing. After exploring the nearby area, Wang Dong pushed the eight-way rudder and began to shift positions. Luck has come. Just change an area and the results will be much better. 85 seconds, good guy, gas mine. Comma, 112 seconds, haha, look what I found, titanium ore. After more than 40 minutes, Wang Dong made a good discovery. Gas is a solidified gas ore that is expensive, thousands of times more expensive than copper or iron ore and titanium ore is even more unusual. This refined silver white metal has extremely high toughness and hardness, and is a high quality material for battleship armor. Its price is 30 times that of gas mine. Judging from Wang Dong's experience, apart from energy crystals, titanium ore is one of the most valuable mineral types in this asteroid belt mining area. Although Wang Dong's main goal is energy crystallization, there are also some normal gains. This piece of titanium ore came at just the right time. Skillfully adjusting its flight attitude, the Mine Master 2 aimed its broad abdomen at the asteroid where the minerals were located. This is a thing with a diameter of more than 300 meters. It is not too big, but it is close to the processing limit of the Mine Master 2. Next comes the key. Wang Dong wants the Mine Master 2 to get within 100 meters, so that the magnetic lasso can capture the core of the asteroid. No matter how small an asteroid is, its mass is still huge compared to the mineral master 2. At such a close distance, the gravitational relationship between the two is enough to affect the flight attitude of the mine master 2. If it accidentally hits an asteroid, it will be in big trouble. This is inside the asteroid belt. After an impact, both the mine master type 2 and this asteroid may be affected, change their trajectory, and fall into a certain gravitational turbulence. Wang Dong is not a novice, and this place has not yet reached the true depths of the asteroid belt. With his skills, he can handle it with ease. With the eight-directional rudder in his hand, he constantly micro-manipulated the eight directions of the engine to adjust the engine. The Mine Master Type 2 steadily and firmly moved closer to the asteroid. The disturbance caused by gravity to the flight attitude is often offset immediately by the micro-operation of the azimuth adjustment engine. There was no need to deliberately calculate or read the data prompts on the ship's optical computer. 
Relying on subconscious reactions, Wang Dong completed the entire approach process perfectly. The instinct of the interstellar miner has long been familiar to the body. After aligning and approaching the asteroid, the belly of the Mine Master II was wide open. First, four large magnetic lassos were used to capture the asteroid and magnetically bind it as a whole. This process takes five minutes. After finishing, Wang Dong slightly released the eight-way rudder in his hand. Magnetic binding allows the Mine Master II and the target asteroid to temporarily become a whole, which is a prerequisite for the entire mining operation process. The next process is much simpler. From the belly of the Mine Master II, multiple large mining drills protruded and began to destructively mine the asteroid in front of them along the mineral distribution detected by the previous detector. There is no need to worry that during this process, the asteroid will deform or shift abnormally, or the fragments will scatter randomly. With the help of magnetic binding, these are not problems. The mining drill bit made of high-strength alloy is the most expensive component on the entire Mine Master II. Driven by a powerful engine, the mining drill peeled off the outer layer of rock from the asteroid like a machete, and penetrated deeply into the interior of the asteroid at a very fast speed. More than five hours later, with the assistance of the shipboard optical brain, the mining drill completed the operation of the entire asteroid. In the cargo hold of the Mine Master II, there are more than a hundred tons of titanium ore. One-eighth of the asteroid in front of us has turned into an aggregate of scattered rocks. Although there is still a large volume left, the titanium ore contained in it has been completely mined. Wang Dong operated the Mine Master II leisurely and contentedly, first putting away the mining drill bit, and then retracting the magnetic lasso. Then push the eight-axis rudder and quickly leave the asteroid. A few minutes later, the asteroid, whose magnetically constrained inertia disappeared, scattered a large number of scattered rocks around, and at the same time, its own orbit began to deviate. This sets off some chain reactions nearby. Wang Dong has already left. This is the daily operation of interstellar miners. Savage and direct, yet delicate and discreet. At this depth, Wang Dong searched for more than 30 hours. The harvest is three units of low-level energy crystals. As for other ores, except for the 100 tons of titanium ore, Wang Dong did not take action. To save time, the endurance of near-air mining spacecraft is generally not very strong. After all, it is near-air mining, and both safety and logistics supply coefficients are quite high. Too high battery life is unnecessary, and it will also occupy limited space, reduce cargo capacity, and reduce cost performance. Energy crystals are really rare minerals. Compared with the reserves of other ores, which can easily reach hundreds of tons, energy crystallization is measured in units. The specific quantity of one unit of energy crystal depends on the energy contained in it, which cannot exceed one kilogram at most. It's such a small piece that it's really difficult for ordinary miners to operate. Wang Dong discovered these three units of energy crystal inside an orite ore. Large mining drill bits, medium mining drill bits and small mining drill bits were used successively to peel them off. Finally, after being put into the cargo hold, they were stripped off with a manual alloy hammer. The whole journey took more than 10 hours. After finishing, Wang Dong let out a sigh of relief and wiped his sweat. The minimum harvest goal is considered achieved. The long period of continuous work made Wang Dong mentally and physically overwhelmed. Although the harvest could only meet the expected minimum standard, Wang Dong still chose to stop. When his condition is not high, Wang Dong needs to be more careful when flying the spacecraft. The more times like this, the less we can lower our demands because of fatigue. After cautiously exiting the mining area, Wang Dong stopped for a moment at the edge, waiting for the next window of opportunity to arrive. The astronomical environment at the edge is much better than in the depths. Only then did Wang Dong dare to relax and rest for a while. The window period was not too long. After a few hours, Wang Dong successfully left the mining area and returned to the forward base. Sister Leah was still on duty. After Wang Dong inquired for a while, he found that Lao Shi had already come out of the mining area and would go back after admitting defeat. In the absence of Wang Dong's deliberate mischief, Lao Shi avoided death last time and sounded a lot more honest. This is a good change, and Wang Dong is satisfied with it. A hidden danger was eliminated. Wang Dong only needs Lao Shi to be honest for a while. 
This little trouble can be solved at any time in the future. Without staying at the forward base for long, Wang Dong quickly embarked on the return journey. After leaving the mining area, the autopilot function can be enabled again. On the way back, Wang Dong encountered a patrol team. There are four teams in total for the daily patrols inside the mining star field. Each team consists of three warships, including two fire reconnaissance ships and one assault ship. The channel from KQ-03 to the asteroid belt mining area is one of the key sections of the patrol team, and its safety is quite guaranteed. Wang Dong watched the three battleship formations passing by calmly, without any wavering in his eyes. In the past, Wang Dong would be quite excited and full of longing when seeing these battleships. Not only because of the ferocious muzzle of the battleship and the solid hull protected by solid armor. Romance with men. What's more, Wang Dong thought that it was the carrier for his golden finger to be officially activated. After his rebirth, Wang Dong was completely indifferent to these battleships. The combat power evaluation is just a soldier-level battleship. This type of battleship does not meet the requirements of the system. They have no growth potential. This is a principled and tasteful auxiliary system. Although it has never shown any intelligence. After all, it is just an auxiliary system and is not responsible for such important responsibilities as selling cute words to promote the plot. Redock the mining master to back to the mining company's parking lot. Intelligent settlement equipment automatically sorts, screens, crushes and refines the ores in the cargo hold. Wang Dong's final income cannot be settled until the entire process is completed. No need to wait all the time, the entire process is recorded and can be viewed at any time. In this regard, the creditworthiness of mining companies is still good. It's not a matter of conscience. In terms of profit distribution, mining companies themselves account for the majority. Miners not only have to pay the rental fee for the mining spacecraft, but also bear the cost of processing and refining the minerals. In the end, the mining company must purchase the finished products. After the whole process, the average miner basically works for the mining company and earns some hard-earned money. Unless you collect valuable minerals like titanium ore, you will have considerable income. Carrying the low-level energy crystals of those three units, Wang Dong walked leisurely on the streets of the KQ-03 living area. As far as low-grade energy crystals are concerned, the purchase price offered by the mining company is not low, but Wang Dong's next plan has a key point that must use this thing. Strictly speaking, these low-level energy crystals are a violation of the contract agreement signed with the mining company. But it doesn't matter. As long as it is not traded on the market, it will not attract the attention of mining companies. Given that mining companies' purchase prices for energy crystals are no lower than the market price, this has rarely happened before. For ordinary people, energy crystals are completely useless. The red sky and rusty air constantly awaken the sleeping memories in Wang Dong's mind. There are three intersections along the H-22 pedestrian zone. You should transfer. Well, that's right, this is the intersection. Transfer to the S-19 pedestrian zone. He actually returned to the community where he lived without making any mistakes or detours. That is a road that has not been traveled for more than 10 years. Smiling to himself, it seems that the peaceful days of KQ-03 actually left a deep mark on his life. Thinking about it, whether his life experience was exposed, his journey to the barony, or his subsequent escape career for more than 10 years, they are not good memories. In comparison, the time spent in the mining star field was indeed the most pleasant time in Wang Dong's life. With the assistance of the system and his own efforts, he has gained wide recognition and respect in his position as an interstellar miner. Economically, there are also relatively generous benefits, and the process of mining the first pot of gold in life is constantly completed. There is no harm without comparison. Therefore, KQ-03, which cannot feel the singing of birds, the fragrance of flowers or the bright sunshine, has become a symbol of peace and beauty. The shame of the time traveler is simply too great. Criticism and self-judgment completed. Through identity authentication, Wang Dong stepped into the home. The neat and simple home decoration and completely masculine style highlight Wang Dong's single attributes. KQ-03's colonial history is only a few hundred years old. The permanent population on the planet is only over 10 million, and they make a living from mining and related industries. 
The level of science and technology on this planet is not high. Except for the heavy industry foundation in mining and metallurgy, the rest are just to meet the needs of life. In the interstellar age, distance in an objective sense has become the biggest obstacle. Not to mention that the distance between galaxies is measured in light years, and the technological level of each planet in a galaxy may be uneven. This is normal. The popularization of technology also requires resources. Who would spend a lot of resources to popularize people's livelihood technology without any reason? Just like the industrial revolution that once took place on the home planet, how many resources are needed to build a large number of factories, how many resources are needed to popularize education to provide more qualified people, how many resources are needed to build enough roads and lay enough railway tracks. Not to mention, in the Bahinia Kingdom where Wang Dong currently lives, under this social system similar to feudalism, how many noble lords are willing to eat and spend a lot of resources just to improve the quality of life of the people. This is a kingdom where the privileged class monopolizes extraordinary power and high-end military force, and its rule has a solid foundation. For things like public opinion, just listen. Noble men do not need votes. According to Wang Dong's habit, the 1st, 10th, and 20th of each month are the times to start mining operations. Three times a month, the income is about 300,000 yuan, the currency of the Bahinia Kingdom. It can be considered a very high income. Wang Dong belongs to the category of soul traveling. He directly traveled through the body of a baby and grew up in an orphanage. The original life plan was to save enough money and go to a more prosperous star field to find ways to buy a warship. Then officially activate the golden finger and move towards the pinnacle of life. After being reborn at the age of 20 this time, Wang Dong naturally knew that his original life plan was just a dream in the mirror. There is absolutely no room for realization. The so-called life is actually the result of countless choices. The rest of Wang Dong's life is a life in which most of his choices have been frozen. Before rebirth, this so-called life did not give Wang Dong much choice. Fortunately, the experiences and memories brought back by this rebirth finally allowed him to gain some breathing space within the tightrope circle. In the next few days, Wang Dong made a lot of plans. The free time before was relatively short, and I couldn't do systematic sorting and planning. Then, he carefully made some preparations without attracting attention. In the busy life, time will always pass quickly. In the blink of an eye, June 10th arrived. A day that Wang Dong will never forget. Mining company, mining spacecraft parking lot. The last profit share was 822,600 yuan, and it has been credited to your account. Is that okay? During the selection of the spacecraft, the unshaven administrator checked the account with Wang Dong. Speaking of which, the administrator nicknamed, Joe Leosin, is also a talented person. He holds multiple positions including security, warehousing, settlement, etc., and he does everything in a clear and logical manner. At least the accounts reconciled with Wang Dong for so long have been clear. Wang Dong nodded and expressed no objection. The money had been transferred to Wang Dong's account two days ago, and Wang Dong had probably browsed the details. The reason why the income is so high is because of the titanium ore. This income has made Wang Dong more prepared. It is better to choose a mine master type 2 with a better ship condition. What Wang Dong likes is the operability brought by its 8-axis adjustment engine. Perhaps at a critical moment, relying on high maneuverability, the chance of survival can be increased by the slightest bit. There are ups and downs in my heart, but it doesn't show anything on my face. As usual, Wang Dong neatly boarded the spacecraft, took off, and set the course. Destination, Entrance 3. Sixteen hours later, Wang Dong arrived at his destination. Entrance number 3 is further away than entrance number 2 where Wang Dong went last time. This time, Wang Dong was lucky. When he arrived at the advance base, he happened to encounter a window period and was able to enter directly. Wang Dong took a deep breath, then exhale slowly and steadily. From now on, the next step is to test your acting skills. Go straight into the mining area and start mining operations after reaching a suitable depth. 33 seconds, garbage mine, go away. 68 seconds, aluminum ore, the specific gravity is too low, uneconomical. Comma. As usual, Wang Dong muttered to himself along with the conclusions drawn by the detector. After a long while, 
Wang Dong selected an irregular meteorite containing oranthite for mining. Skillful approach, magnetic binding, drill mining, perfect completion. Wang Dong vividly demonstrated the skills of a seasoned interstellar miner. No matter who it is, they can easily identify it through observation. This is a young and talented interstellar miner. But the string in Wang Dong's heart was always tight. Just when Wang Dong was about to end the mining operations in this area and move to the next area to search, a change occurred. Following a strange space change, a behemoth suddenly appeared above Wang Dong's mine master too. It was a warship with a length of more than 300 meters and a width of more than 60 meters. At the bow of the ship, along the central axis of the hull, a thick and long caliber main gun was protruded. The hull was covered with blue-black armor, and under the cover of the middle armor layer, there was a high-speed track surrounding it. The four secondary battery turrets are distributed on high-speed rails, capable of covering every inch of space around the ship at any time. As soon as the battleship appeared, four yellow tractor beams emerged from the belly of the ship, firmly restraining Wang Dong's Mine Master II. Not only that, at the same time, both the detector and the communicator on Wang Dong's Mine Master II lost their normal functions, turning into a snowflake screen and a rustling sound. Wang Dong understood that this was because the warship that appeared spread, Mie particles, in a small area, directly blocking detection and communication signals in this area. Mie particles are a unique technology of this human civilization. It has a rest mass close to zero. When it is scattered on the battlefield, it will invalidate most modern known wireless communication and enemy tracking technologies other than visible light optical signal communication within the coverage area. Although this area is located inside the mining area, it is difficult to detect from a distance, and it is also difficult to obtain communication links with the outside world. Coming, Wang Dong was shocked. Exactly like its previous life, this battleship, while being hunted, absconded and hid in the mining area of this asteroid belt. Wang Dong fully responded to the sudden change. Consternation. Then he quickly calmed down. Adjust the detector and communicator while wearing the space suit. All three in one go. After the first two failed, he did not panic and did not control the miniature laser gun on the Mine Master Type 2 to launch a unnecessary counterattack. That laser gun couldn't even penetrate the shell of the mining spacecraft, let alone the armor of the battleship in front of it. After his efforts to save himself failed, Wang Dong left the console neatly and shut down the propeller engine of the Mine Master 2 to show no harm. This means I surrender, you can do whatever you want. Although it seems hopeless, it is not a fatal situation. Otherwise, it wouldn't be tractor beam restraint, but just a few shots. Due to the thin skin and large size of the Mine Master Type 2, there is no need for the battleship in front of the battleship to use its main guns. With just the four secondary guns, Wang Dong and the Mine Master Type 2 will turn into the universe with just a few hits. Dust lies dormant in the asteroid belt mining areas. Therefore, the expression on Wang Dong's face was no longer calm, but one-third doubtful, three-thirds worried, and four-thirds excited. But not desperate. The confusion was over the motive of this battleship. What worries me is the unpredictability of what will happen next. As for the excitement, it was the opportunity to come into contact with such a mysterious warship that was obviously different from the patrol fleets we saw every day and showed extraordinary capabilities. Of course, the always present but unknown auxiliary system has already given information about this mysterious battleship. E-Class Fire Destroyer. Status. 88%. Growth Potential. Low. This situation lasted for a while. The next moment, at the belly of the battleship, the armor was stacked on both sides, and the hatch was opened wide. Last time, Wang Dong felt uneasy that a long time had passed. But this time, Wang Dong, who had only a slight turmoil in his heart, was very careful in timing. 89 seconds, less than a minute and a half. It seems that he is much more urgent than expected. That's right, after all, his physical condition does not allow for more delays. Under the action of the tractor beam, the entire Mine Master II type where Wang Dong was located was bundled into the belly of the battleship. Wang Dong's heart relaxed slightly. So far, so good. After the hatch was closed again, two armed robots appeared outside the hull of the Mine Master II. Slightly taller than an ordinary person, with shiny silver bones and a variety of in-ship weapons, it is often used for in-ship security. 
Wang Dong was even able to call out the models of the two armed robots. The Kono 3 armed robot was released 40 years ago with a price of 6.5 million per unit. The advantage is that the combat AI is perfect and can be adapted to a variety of uses. The disadvantage is that the skeleton is exposed and lacks the protection of the outer armor layer, making it easy to be restrained by powerful individual weapons. But now is clearly not the time to show off your erudite side. Wang Dong obediently opened the hatch of the Mine Master 2, disembarked, and was monitored by two armed robots. At this time, the two armed robots were holding in ship burst cannons, which were mainly used for intra-ship suppression, targeting unarmored and lightly armored targets. There was no time to carefully observe the specific situation in the large cargo hold. As the green arrow mark on the ground lit up, two armed robots held Wang Dong hostage on the left and right, and stepped onto a disc with a diameter of about 1.5 meters. At the edge of the disc, a light red magnetic force was bound, firmly fixing Wang Dong and the two armed robots on the disc. The disc floated into the sky and moved rapidly along the passage inside the ship at a high speed. After crossing three passages and four cabins, Wang Dong arrived at a circular armored isolation door. The command module, also known as the bridge, Wang Dong murmured in his mind. Five seconds later, the hatch opens. Wang Dong stepped in without hesitation, and the hatch closed behind him. Although he had expected it, the scene in the command module still stunned Wang Dong for a moment. Although it was only once, this meeting was deeply imprinted in Wang Dong's mind. A middle-aged man wearing a black combat uniform was reclining on the commander's chair. A small, silver-white, wheel-shaped intelligent medical machine is suspended in midair, providing life support for him. The green indicator light symbolizing the working status and the red indicator light for emergency are flashing. Hearing the footsteps, the man remained motionless. Only a slightly weak voice sounded, I'm sorry, it's not convenient for me to move because of my current situation. Please come closer. Wang Dong followed his instructions and walked to the commander's chair. The middle-aged man's left eye has completely turned into a bloody hole, and there is also a long crack above the right eye, with bones vaguely visible. The eye is narrowed into a small slit and cannot be opened. What's more serious is that a black dagger without a handle was inserted into the man's left chest. The surgical arms of the intelligent medical machine were aimed at this wound. It's a miracle that I'm alive and awake now. Wang Dong could tell at a glance that the dagger stuck in the man's chest had definitely destroyed at least half of the heart tissue, even if it had not penetrated directly through the center of the heart. Although I don't know what your purpose, sir, is for inviting me in in this way, but I suggest you keep your story short. Wang Dong gave a brief salute, with a hint of dissatisfaction in his tone. The man grinned and gave a ferocious smile. Levistein civilization's military stimulant can keep you awake within an hour after injection unless your head is cut off. If you can find a reliable hospital to lie down immediately, there may be hope. Wang Dong turned his head and glanced at the situation in the command cabin. Except for this seriously injured man, there was no one else in the entire command cabin. Oh, and there are two armed robots. Stop looking. There is no one else on the ship except me. Besides, the Jin family's heart-destroying dagger is not something that a small hospital like this can cure. The middle-aged man moved his head slightly and said softly. If you need someone to witness your death, then I think you can start. Wang Dong turned his head, stared at the middle-aged man, and said seriously. I just hope that after you achieve your goal, you can let me go. I am just an ordinary interstellar miner. Although I don't need to support my family, I still have my own ideals and goals. You are an interesting young man. Unfortunately, it is useless. There is a high probability that you will not be able to return to your old life. There is a guy nearby, from the Jin family in the Dingyuan galaxy. I killed three collateral descendants of their family and was included in the Jin family's must-kill list. Once they discover that you have boarded this battleship, they will be treated as an accomplice and will be killed. Quote. The Jin family of the Dingyuan galaxy. Dot the Jin family known for its unyielding retribution. Wang Dong asked with some uncertainty. You kid, you have some knowledge. Yes, you are Dingyuan Jin who claims to wipe out all your household registrations if you touch me. The middle-aged man's voice was full of hatred when he mentioned the three words, Ding Yuan Jin. Wang Dong had actually heard of the existence of the Jin family in the Ding Yuan galaxy. 
Although the mining star region where Wang Dong is located belongs to the Bahinia Kingdom, the Dingyuan Galaxy where the Jin family is located belongs to the Plantagenet Federation. The two are neighboring countries. The political structures of the two countries are different, but in essence there are not many differences. The privileged class in the Bahinia Kingdom are called by titles, such as Baron, Viscount, etc. The privileged classes in the Plantagenet Federation are often called noble families and are also divided into several grades. The Jin family is a high-ranking family in the Plantagenet Federation. His fame, or infamy, indeed spread throughout the neighboring countries. There was a case. A descendant of the Jin family was caught drugging a student from a women's college. The companions of the students in the women's college knew that the perpetrator was a descendant of the Jin family and did not dare to offend him. He didn't say anything, he just took the person away. Unexpectedly, this descendant of the Jin family felt that he had lost face. That night, he got into a gang of thieves and forced his way into the dormitory of the women's college and robbed all four women's college students in the dormitory. There has been no news from these four women's college students since. The women's college turned around and reported the matter to the Federal Ministry of Education. The news spread widely throughout the education community, arousing the anger of countless students and educational circles. The incident became so big that it even alarmed the federal parliament. The descendants of the Jin family who caused the accident were severely punished. But afterwards, the principal and three vice principals of the women's college were arrested and imprisoned for various reasons. The three generation family members of the victimized girls in other galaxies have also suffered various bad lucks, ranging from paralysis to paralysis, disability to disability, and even the little niece who just turned one year old was tragically disfigured. There was no cover up in the whole process. Under the pressure of the fishing boat, the murderer who was a mercenary was quickly arrested. Everyone knows who is behind the scenes, but without evidence, there is nothing that can be done to this high class family. So scary. Even though Wang Dong grew up in a remote mining star region, he had heard news about the Jin family of the Plantagenet Federation. I see, it looks like I have no choice. Wang Dong's pupils shrank and he nodded. Chapter 11. So sir, what is your purpose? The middle-aged man sat up with difficulty. Ding Yuanjin's heart-destroying dagger hit my heart directly. If I hadn't been supported by a body close to the advanced level of physical training, I would have died before I could even inject the stimulant. It's good that you can understand the Jin family's habits. It can save us a lot of time. But I suggest that you take the Jin family more seriously, because they are always 10,000 times more despicable, shameless, disgusting, perverted and scum than you think. Quote. Wang Dong nodded slightly, as if he was being taught. He wholeheartedly agreed. Before his rebirth, he really didn't pay enough attention to the difficulty of the Jin family. In other words, he tried his best to pay attention, but his ability was limited and he didn't pay enough attention. I have to say, your performance is quite good. The middle-aged man made a judgment about Wang Dong. Whether it's the quick response and neat self-rescue when faced with a sudden change, or the calm response after quickly recognizing the situation, or even the ability to remain calm in the face of uncontrollable forces. Young people like you, even in it's also rare among the privileged classes. Wang Dong bowed slightly to express his gratitude. You are overly complimentary. I still have a lot to learn. For example, how did your battleship suddenly appear next to me? The middle-aged man twitched the corners of his lips as if to smile. My name is Yuan Shu, and this is my battleship, the Tomahawk. She is a fire battleship. What do you call me little brother? Wang Dong bowed slightly, saluted, and said, Mr. Yuan, it's an honor to meet you. I am Wang Dong. It turns out that the Tomahawk is a fire warship, so is the previous performance the function of a certain ship-based module. Quote. Yuan Shu was slightly startled. Wang Dong, little brother, it seems that you also know something about the fire battleship, which is rare. Being able to master this information in such a remote place shows that your ambition is not simple. Wang Dong crossed his arms, sighed softly, and said, Yes, the fire battleship is the symbol of the highest force of human civilization and the force that the privileged class relies on to maintain the basis of their rule. In fact, it has always been my dream to own a fire battleship of my own. Quote. Yuan Shu grinned again. Congratulations, your dream will come true soon. Wang Dong frowned. 
Mr. Yuan, I don't understand. What do you mean? As you guessed, I'm going to die soon. Now there are only two of us on this battleship. Before I die, I will transfer the captain's authority to you, and you will become the next captain of this battleship. Quote. Wang Dong smiled bitterly and said, Mr. Yuan, can I refuse? Obviously not. Yuan Shu moved his arms, seeming a little puzzled by Wang Dong's refusal. But I don't mind hearing your reasons for saying no, it's really confusing. I don't want to leave with doubts before I die. Quote. Owning my own fire battleship is a dream I have had since I learned about the existence of fire battleship. Wang Dong shook his head and continued to smile bitterly. I have my own plan. Save money as a miner, then leave this country and go to the Federation, where the colleges and universities have the most friendly path to advancement for civilians. As long as you can graduate successfully and achieve excellent results, you will be able to obtain a fire battleship funded by the Academy. Although it is difficult, I have confidence in myself and am still 30% sure. Now there is a fire warship that seems to be at my fingertips, which can save me at least 20 years of struggle. Of course I am excited. And it's very exciting. But it was too early and too sudden. I was completely unprepared, whether mentally, in terms of ability, or even in terms of background power. Mr. Yuan, can you understand? Quote. Yuan Shu was silent. At first glance, as soon as Yuan Shu died, Wang Dong obtained the tomahawk and became the new captain. Then he rose to the top in an instant, and his status was greatly improved. But can it really go so smoothly? First of all, Yuan Shu, who obviously has a grudge against the Jin family, will undoubtedly die. Wang Dong knows it, Yuan Shu himself knows it, and the Jin family who has single-handedly promoted it, naturally also knows it. But if Wang Dong inherited the tomahawk from Yuan Shu, would the Jin family let Wang Dong go? Obviously impossible. Yiju must be repaid. Ding Yuan Jin, do you understand? As Yuan Shu said before, the Jin family has long been eyeing Yuan Shu and the tomahawk. Once Wang Dong boarded the ship and was discovered by the Jin family, he would be included in the scope of elimination. Not to mention becoming the new captain of the tomahawk. In fact, any force would not hesitate to take action against Wang Dong after learning that a civilian like Wang Dong owned a fire warship, and would find ways to take the tomahawk as its own. This involves the second factor just mentioned by Wang Dong. Background or power. If you want to occupy resources of the level of the fire battleship, you must have certain qualifications. This qualification could be ability, recognized as elite in some field, outstanding battleship commander, etc. It can be background, a privileged class such as a descendant of an aristocratic family or a public official above a certain level, etc. It can also be forces, large financial groups, local forces, etc. He could even be a dandy who inherited the legacy of his predecessors. But for interstellar miners like Wang Dong, they are obviously not qualified enough. Far from enough. Of course Wang Dong, who was reborn, knew that as long as he inherited Yuan Shu's tomahawk, all of the above problems could be solved. Because there are several ship-borne modules on the tomahawk, and their functions are truly top-notch. But he couldn't show it. Even though Yuan Shu was so friendly with him now, he thought he was really the kind of grandpa chance in the novel. Being able to persist in causing trouble for the Jin family for decades despite being pursued by the Jin family, is this something that ordinary people can do? Before his rebirth, Wang Dong had a golden finger, and he only survived for more than 10 years under the pursuit of the Jin family. So now Wang Dong is really devoting himself wholeheartedly to the role of a young man with potential. Every word and deed must conform to the personality, otherwise once Yuan Shu sees that something is wrong. Wang Dong knew that Leviston civilization's military stimulants lasted for 24 hours, not just one hour. Yuan Shu didn't have any other options at all. Wang Dong is not a good candidate. There are many other alternatives in the mining area. Yuan Shu has been wandering the interstellar world for decades, and he is not a simple nobleman. The reason for Wang Dong's refusal became more or less clear after he thought about it for a moment. I didn't think carefully. I forgot that little brother Wang Dong and people like us were not in the same world before. Yuan Shu said with some emotion. I have been in charge of the tomahawk since I was 30 years old and have been traveling in the interstellar space for more than 70 years. 
I have long forgotten what the lives of planetary residents are like. Planetary residents are the name given to ordinary people who live on planets all their lives and cannot step into the starry sky at will. It's not a compliment, it's just a neutral word. Quite an apt title. Like a frog in a well. Brother Wang Dong, I asked my eldest brother to call me brother. After all, he is older and has seen more people and things. I understand that you have your own ideas and know more than most people, but the level of exposure may not be enough. Quote, Yuan Shu struggled to unfasten the seat belt that fixed him to the seat, and slowly sat upright. I have been enmity with the Jin family for so many years, but I am still at ease. The Jin family's reward for me has been rising one after another, but they still can't do anything to me. It wasn't until this time that the Jin family found the family of an important crew member of mine, coerced him into betraying us, and set up a trap, and finally succeeded. The reason why the Jin family has been unable to catch me for decades is certainly not luck. Nor does it rely on the combat power of the Tomahawk. It's the heritage of my Yuan family that is coveted by the Jin family. When our ancestors traveled among the stars, they obtained additional ship-based modules with special functions. Quote. Additional shipboard module. Wang Dong said with some surprise. Aren't the modules carried on the fire warship called carrier-based modules? What do additional ship-based modules mean? It seems that you don't know enough about the relevant aspects of the fire warship. There are two types of shipboard modules, standard modules and additional modules. These are common sense. The Tomahawk's shipboard optical brain has files in this regard, and you can check them out by yourself when the time comes. Quote. Yuan Shu chuckled. Wang Dong looked as if he was stunned, but he still shook his head and said, Mr. Yuan, after you said this, I have some confidence in my heart, but there is one most important premise that I am not sure about at all. What premise? Yuan Shu asked doubtfully. As far as I know, if you want to become the captain of a fire warship, you must fuse the fire on board the ship, and the probability of success of this fusion is very low. Unless you can practice the bodybuilding technique to an advanced level, success is not 100% possible. Quote. Wang Dong said with some shame, I am not from a privileged class. I don't have the qualifications to practice physical training. I may not even be able to fuse shipboard fire. But Yuan Shu shook his head slightly. The fusion success rate you mentioned is for the first generation fire battleship. Transferring the captain's authority does not need to consider the success probability of fire fusion and the level of training in body training. It is bound to be successful. Quote. Wang Dong nodded blankly. This is a question that must be asked, and again, personality, is very important. It is necessary to show certain excellent qualities, such as calmness, careful thinking, etc., so that Yuan Shu feels that Wang Dong has the ability to cause trouble to the Jin family in the future, and there will be no hidden danger of entrusting someone to someone else. You must also be careful not to act too outrageously, such as knowing information that is far beyond the normal range of access, or not asking anything, as long as you can take over the captain's position. You can go back and study the specific information. Trust me, you will definitely be pleasantly surprised. Yuan Shu began to speak faster, with a hint of impatience. Okay, then I'll listen to you, Mr. Yuan. Of course, if you have any other instructions, Mr. Yuan, please tell me. Wang Dong accepted it as soon as he was satisfied and nodded reluctantly. Of course Yuan Shu would have other additional conditions. Is he trying so hard to explain so much just to hand over the battleship to Wang Dong before he died? Innocent. Very good. Then let's put villains first and then gentlemen. Yuan Shu's voice was slightly weak. Immediately, as if receiving an order, the wheel-shaped intelligent medical machine that was originally suspended above Yuan Shu slowly moved in front of Wang Dong. Then, a dark green injection was protruded from a certain robot hand. Wang Dong remained motionless and allowed the injection to be injected into his body. This is the Yuan family's secret medicine. Needless to say, it's effective. Its onset time limit is one year later. Yuan Shu said quietly, The secret box that stores the antidote is on the table in the captain's room. I have already set the conditions for unblocking it. All I need to do is kill any direct descendant of the Jin family, and the ship's optical brain will determine it. I will solidify the unblocking conditions with the authority of the captain, and the next captain will not have the authority to change it. Quote. 
This kind of secret medicine named after a family is basically one of the trump cards of each family, and it is difficult to find a corresponding antidote on the market. Wang Dong said with some worry on his face, the Dingyuan galaxy is far away from this mining area. Moreover, the Jin family is powerful, and its direct descendants have far more resources than ordinary people, and the fire warships they possess are not ordinary. I'm afraid I won't be able to find a suitable target in a short period of time. Quote, you don't need to worry about this. Sima Di Sao, a direct descendant of the Jin family who plotted against me, is still tracking my whereabouts in this star field and will not leave in the short term. He is your best target choice. I have prepared the relevant information about him. After you take over as captain, you can check it in the database of the ship's optical brain at any time. Quote, Yuan Shu said calmly, it is normal for Yuan Shu to threaten Wang Dong with secret medicine. Thinking about it from his standpoint, other than this method, what other way can Wang Dong inherit his legacy and fight against the Jin family to the end? Yuan Shu was forcing Wang Dong in disguise to be stained with the blood of direct descendants of the Jin family in a short period of time, completely cutting off his retreat. From ancient times to the present, applying for a certificate has always been a good way to attract people to join a team. In addition, Yuan Shu's move may not contain the motive of revenge for himself. Sima Di Sao was the direct cause of Yuan Shu's death. It would be a lie to say that he didn't hate him. As for whether it is reasonable or not, is it possible that Wang Dong died because of this kind of coercion? It doesn't matter, Yuan Shu is going to die himself, how can he care so much? It's not like he's a younger member of the family, so he has a bit of love. In the final analysis, Wang Dong was just the last bit of resistance and effort Yuan Shu made before his death. Wang Dong had resentment about this before he was reborn. But there is no sorrow or joy in this life. After more experience, you will know that if you want to get something, you have to give. Obtaining the fire battleship and getting the best capital for class advancement, Wang Dong felt that nothing was unworthy of the price he paid. Don't look at Wang Dong who was full of confidence in front of Yuan Shu just now, saying that he was 30% sure to obtain a fire warship by himself and complete the class jump. In fact, it's all nonsense. In the real world, it's not that simple. Not to mention other things, just how to cross the distance measured in light years to leave the Bahinia Kingdom and go to the Plantagenet Federation is a very uncertain factor. More importantly, there are several shipboard modules on the Tomahawk, which are really rare and exquisite. No wonder he was coveted by the Jin family, which led to the destruction of the Yuan family and Yuan Shu's desperate struggle. Wang Dong is also very greedy. Before his rebirth, if he had not relied on these shipboard modules, as a novice captain, how could Wang Dong have been able to avoid the pursuit of the Jin family and survive for more than 10 years? This condition is not too much, I agree. Wang Dong replied solemnly. It is a commitment that comes from the heart. With Yuan Shu's many years of experience in reading people, coupled with the sharp senses provided by the intermediate exercise technique, he can tell it at a glance. Very good. After all, Fate has not completely cut off my hope. Before I die, let me find a suitable owner for the tomahawk. Yuan Shu, who was weak and on the verge of death, forced himself to stand upright. Waving his hand to reject Wang Dong's support, Yuan Shu said loudly, Tomahawk, as the captain, I officially issue an order. The order is as follows. Transfer the captain's authority to Wang Dong, a human citizen in front of me. Beep, beep, beep. The highest level authority command has changed and authority authentication is enabled. Dot dot dot. The identity of the publisher is confirmed, Captain Yuan Shu. Dot dot dot. The release environment is confirmed and there are no abnormalities. Dot dot dot. Release object confirmed, human citizen Wang Dong. After the certification is completed, please ask Captain Yuan Shu to confirm the order. Quote. It is different from the low-end products like Wang Dong's Mind Master 2. The electronic sound emitted by the Tomahawk's shipboard optical brain is soft and pleasant. Order confirmed. Yuan Shu's words contained extremely complex emotions, including reluctance, relief, expectations, and unwillingness. The order has been confirmed. Captain Wang Dong, congratulations on becoming the third captain of this ship, the Tomahawk reports to you. Wish you good luck in martial arts. Quote, the procedures for authority authentication are prudent and rigorous. 
Not only do the instructions in the entire process need to be confirmed again, but the environment for the certification instructions is also tested to eliminate abnormal factors such as hypnosis and coercion by the captain before it can pass. With the completion of the complete certification process, Wang Dong officially became the new owner of the fire battleship Tomahawk. His mood is a bit complicated. This is the turning point of fate. He has stepped on the steps to get out of the bottom quagmire. But this is just a starting point. Last time, he stumbled as soon as he started from the starting point. After returning from rebirth, he wanted to see who would win. The transfer of the captain's authority was completed, and Wang Dong immediately gained command of the two armed robots behind him. But Wang Dong did not take any measures against Yuan Shu, but still maintained respect for Yuan Shu. Mr. Yuan, do you have anything else to explain? Joke. What is the concept of intermediate exercise? When the primary body building technique is perfected, it is already close to the limit of the human body itself. After breaking through to the intermediate level of physical exercise, one can be regarded as an extraordinary existence in a certain sense. Even if Yuan Shu was seriously injured, it would not be much more troublesome than squeezing an ant to death if he wanted to crush an ordinary person like Wang Dong who had never practiced physical training. Just two armed robots cannot bring any sense of security to Wang Dong. One last little request. Time is running out, and I hope to spend the remaining time on the tomahawk without being disturbed, so that my soul can be integrated with the tomahawk forever. Quote. Yuan Shu nodded with satisfaction. Please rest assured, I will definitely do it. However, according to your opinion, the tomahawk is still being hunted. I hope to review the information you left before and find a solution as soon as possible. Wang Dong continued to speak respectfully, feeling a little solemn in his heart. Last time, Wang Dong didn't dare to make such a request, but passively waited for Yuan Shu to go through the last step before trying to control the tomahawk. As a result, during this period of time, the Jin family's warships discovered anomalies in this star field while searching nearby, and then found the location of the tomahawk. The additional module with concealment function on the tomahawk is in the buffer period and cannot be activated immediately. In the end, Wang Dong relied on the advantage of being familiar with the location and played hide-and-seek with the Jin family's search warship. He was lucky enough to delay until the buffer period of the add-on module ended and restarted the concealment function to temporarily get rid of it. But because of this, during the delaying process, the Tomahawk suffered heavy damage from the Jin family's warships and completely lost its initiative, laying hidden dangers for being forced to take radical and risky actions in the future. In order to avoid wasting this precious time again, Wang Dong made a different choice at this moment than before. That's good. You are already the captain. This is your right. It seems that your ability to accept and adjust is indeed very strong. After pondering for a moment, Yuan Shu said with some relief. Wang Dong took a deep breath in his heart. Okay, I have firmly grasped the first note of destiny. In reality, it comes to an end. At this time, in Wang Dong's mind, after obtaining the captain's authority, he felt very different from before. Get the carrier. Self-checking. Self-test completed. The carrier is qualified. System function activation is successful. Quote. This is Wang Dong's. Gold Finger, the battleship game auxiliary system in his mind, a prompt message to complete the official activation. Lines of mysterious characters flowed down the system interface in my mind. Resident Function 2. High-speed human computer data interaction, activation. The next moment, Wang Dong could feel that there was a warm flame inside the tomahawk, establishing a mysterious connection with him. That's shipboard fire. Through this connection, he could clearly feel the situation of the entire battleship. Similar to when the system scanning function is enabled to carefully observe a battleship, at this moment, the overall hull structure of the tomahawk and the status of each module are presented in Wang Dong's mind one by one. It's as if the battleship has become an extension of Wang Dong's spirit, and a large amount of information can be fed back at a moment's notice. Query the basic data of this ship. Hey, this ship is the fire destroyer tomahawk. The performance parameters are as follows. Main gun LV.2, armor LV.2, engine LV.2, survey radar LV.1, hull structure LV.0, energy shield LV. 2. The overall evaluation is fire destroyer LV.6, remaining source points, 12, source point acquisition rate, 12.5%.
25%. The additional modules are as follows. Feiju Jump Device LV.0, Quantum Entanglement Brainwave Manipulation System LV.0, and Mirage System LV.0. Armor Damage, 38%, Hull Damage, 4%, the diagram is as follows. The remaining ammunition for the main gun, 123 rounds, the remaining ammunition for the secondary battery, 2012, the remaining energy, 2,298, and the remaining living supplies, 393 units. A string of data, whether communicated by voice or presented to Wang Dong in the form of written data, takes at least 10 seconds. At this time, after the battleship game auxiliary system in Wang Dong's mind was officially activated, the human-machine exchange of data messages was completed in just an instant. It is as if the human brain has become a computer, capable of processing large amounts of data in a short period of time. In this way, the improvement in control efficiency is simply a huge difference. Sure enough, there are captains with or without auxiliary systems. They are actually two kinds of creatures. In his previous life, after the battleship auxiliary system was activated, Wang Dong was amazed for a long time. Of course, this method of control also has its drawbacks. Just like the previous, resident function 1, of the system, Wang Dong's energy will be consumed when using it. This kind of control method is naturally not without consumption, and it must be borne by Wang Dong himself. This high-speed data link method also consumes energy. Maintaining it for a long time is not realistic for Wang Dong at present. It can be used during combat, but normally, it is more appropriate to use the normal mode. In addition to the two permanent functions of scanning and high-speed human-computer data interaction, after the battleship game auxiliary system is activated, the fonts of several optional functions that were originally unavailable are no longer gray. And behind each function, there are corresponding usage conditions. Optional function 1. Different space signal capture consuming one low-level energy crystal each time. Optional function 2. Double the module growth value, different module quality, different energy crystal consumption. Optional function 3. Self-selected module characteristics, different module quality, different energy consumption crystals. These three optional features all work extremely well. It's just that every time you use these functions, you need to consume energy crystals. The last remaining, advanced functions, have also changed. Advanced function 1. Twice the source point acquisition, one unit of advanced energy crystal activation. Advanced function 2. Lifting the level restriction of different space civilization, one unit of advanced energy crystal is activated. It is different from resident functions that have no restrictions and optional functions that require energy crystals to be consumed every time they are used. Advanced functions require the consumption of advanced energy crystals as activation conditions. Advanced energy crystals are rare and expensive. Fortunately, the advanced functions have not been used yet. Query the basic data of this ship. Yuan Shu was still there. In order to prevent him from discovering the anomalies caused by the battleship's auxiliary system, Wang Dong changed to using voice mode to issue commands. The shipboard optical brain does not have real intelligence and did not show any abnormality as to why the new captain repeatedly issued instructions. As the order was issued, the corresponding data immediately appeared on the large screen on the front of the command module, and at the same time, a soft electronic voice was broadcast at a suitable speaking speed. The content displayed was the same as what Wang Dong had received before. Armor damage 38%. After pondering for a moment, Wang Dong raised his hand and pointed his finger, and clicked on the detailed information on the armor damage. The data is clear. The damage to the Tomahawk's hull armor was mainly concentrated at the stern, especially at the stern near the engine nozzle. Several places showed severe damage to the armor. The color displayed is a dazzling red. Other than that, the other parts are basically green. At first glance, it was the damage sustained while being chased. As for the hull damage, this is not a big problem. 4% is far from the critical point and does not affect the general operation of the battleship at all. Start silent navigation and slowly transfer to this coordinate point. Wang Dong tapped lightly on the survey radar image on the left and gave the transfer command to the Tomahawk's shipboard optical brain. Everything else can be discussed later. The first priority is to make strategic changes. 
Wang Dong clearly remembers that before his rebirth, he was wasted too much time in the same place, so that the Jin family searched for battleships and found traces. Struggling and procrastinating, it was not until he was hit hard that he delayed enough and managed to escape. At that time, the tomahawk's armor damage reached 85%. The hull damage also reached 56%. It can be said that he suffered from seven tuberculosis and eight injuries, which cost him most of his life. Why Wang Dong took the risk to speak to Yuan Shu was to gain this precious time. The shipboard optical brain on the tomahawk is obviously more than one level better than the Mind Master 2. Even in areas with complex celestial links such as asteroid belt mining areas, the automatic navigation function can still be used. There is no need for Wang Dong to take the helm personally. After specifying the destination, the tomahawk automatically adjusts the engine in four directions. In conjunction with the slight output of the main engine, the entire battleship moves elegantly and gently, avoiding larger meteorites and asteroids, slowly driving towards the depths of the mining area. Of course, a large part of this factor is that the thick armor on the outside of the tomahawk's hull can completely ignore the low-speed impact of ordinary small meteorites. Pai Hu is so willful. There is also an energy shield. Due to the excessive energy consumption, it is basically not turned on during non-war times. At the same time, Wang Dong continued to scroll through the supplies list, and then circle the miniature disposable detectors listed in the list. More than a dozen were dropped one after another and carefully placed on nearby asteroids. Looking at Wang Dong's methodical operation, Yuan Shu's remaining eye shimmered. Brother Wang Dong, have you ever been exposed to the control of a battleship before? Wang Dong turned to Yuan Shu and smiled shyly. I am a loyal fan of the virtual game, Star Journey. I have played more than 2,400 hours in total and have fought nearly 1,200 battles with new ships, with a winning rate of more than 50%. Calmly report your results, of course, with a hint of self-confidence. Star Journey is a holographic full-star real-time battlefield strategy game. It is claimed that the degree of simulation is as high as 85%. Players play the role of a battleship captain, commanding their own battleships to join designated battlefields and conduct single ship battles or fleet battles. The producer is a large technology company on the other side of the distant star field, and it is said to have a profound background. This is evident from the fact that the game has become so popular in remote places like the mining star region where KQ-03 is located. In the past, Wang Dong cherished this very few channel where he could get access to information about battleships and spend a lot of time and energy in the game. If you want to play this kind of wide area real-time strategy game, you can't just rely on your own home optical computer. You have to go to a large internet cafe with a dedicated login device. The fees are quite high. Therefore, internet access fees account for a large proportion of Wang Dong's daily life. As a rigorous official game, the results in it can indeed reflect the player's familiarity with a standard battleship and some basic tactics from a certain perspective. Yuan Shu nodded in relief and said hoarsely, it's better than nothing. I just thought that since we are still being chased, we should try not to stay in one place for too long no matter what. Wang Dong shrugged and said helplessly, after all, I should be able to catch a duck and get on the shelf. I still have to struggle when I should. Yuan Shu turned slightly to the side with difficulty. Prudence is a good quality, it can help you better avoid being pursued by the Jin family. However, I have a little doubt. You need to kill a direct descendant of the Jin family to get the antidote for the Yuan family's secret medicine. So, why don't you choose to wait here for the Jin family's warship to deliver the goods to your door? Quote. Wang Dong smiled bitterly upon hearing this. I don't really think that just by playing a game, I can become a real battleship captain. To be honest, I don't even dare to pilot a battleship myself now, let alone fight. Familiarizing yourself with the ship's condition and practicing relevant driving and control skills from the basics is the priority option. In addition, the ancients said that if you know yourself and your enemy, you will be victorious in any battle. And now I don't even have any understanding of my opponent's situation. Basically, you don't know yourself or the enemy. Where does such a hasty challenge come from? Quote, Yuan Shu relaxed his body and lay down again, it seems that you are very awake. In this case, I am more optimistic about your prospects. Wang Dong laughed. 
it seems that Mr. Yuan, you have always maintained a pessimistic attitude towards my prospects. That's because you don't understand how difficult the Jin family is. Yuan Shu shook his head. No matter what kind of method it is, as long as the Jin family feels it is necessary, they can use it. Like me, even if I have been dealing with the Jin family for decades, when my threat rating and bounty in the Jin family's foreign affairs hall rose to a certain height. As the direct descendants of the Jin family who were able to mobilize more resources joined the pursuit of me, I still fell under the conspiracy that I despised the most. This is true for me, let alone a young man like you. Just do your best and obey fate. Quote. After saying this, Yuan Shu sighed, feeling indescribably bitter. Wang Dong wanted to nod in agreement. In his previous life, wasn't he the same as Yuan Shu, who was hunted with no way out of heaven or on earth? But of course he couldn't act so sad now. If you don't even have basic confidence, do you still want to expect others to leave their last hope to you? Mr. Yuan, I'm thinking that if I can't appear in the Jin family's sight, then even the Jin family should be negligent. For example, the Jin family doesn't know about my existence yet, so as long as I am careful not to be exposed in the eyes of the Jin family, who would know that the new captain of the Tomahawk will be a mere interstellar miner? Quote, Wang Dong said with a smile. It makes some sense. Although it sounds simple, it is not impossible to achieve it with several additional modules of the tomahawk. It's just that the probability is really small. Yuan Shu's expression moved slightly, and then he became disapproving. If he were a veteran who had been in the interstellar space for many years and was familiar with the specific situation of the tomahawk, he might be able to do it. But the rookie Wang Dong. Yuan Shu had reservations about this. Mr. Yuan, since it is a battleship, why is there only one main gun on the tomahawk? Even if four secondary guns are added, it is only five. Is the firepower too weak? Wang Dong asked with some confusion. Have you misunderstood the word battleship? Do you think it has no combat effectiveness without dozens of main guns? Yuan Shu couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. It seems that you are indeed a newbie as you said. Wang Dong seemed a little embarrassed and blinked but said nothing, but looked at Yuan Shu with curious eyes. Seeing that Wang Dong was really curious, Yuan Shu explained, Generally speaking, for low-level interstellar civilizations, the attack power of battleships always far exceeds the defense power. For example, an electromagnetic gun with a small caliber can easily tear apart the opponent's armor. Even an asteroid with a diameter of more than one meter can pose a fatal threat to a warship. At this level, the more weapons a warship has, the more combat effectiveness it has. However, as the level of civilization increases, the defensive capabilities of warships gradually no longer become a shortcoming, but begin to overtake them. As far as the fire warship is concerned, it has an energy shield module from the beginning. When the energy shield is activated, attacks below a certain intensity can be greatly immunized to a certain extent. Only attacks exceeding a certain intensity can affect the energy shield and consume its durability. In this case, no matter how many main guns there are on a battleship, if there is not enough attack strength, it is equivalent to none. Therefore, attack intensity has become an important indicator of the main gun. The higher the attack intensity, the more abundant energy supply is required. There is always a limit to the energy supply capacity of a warship. Small but precise has become the standard for main guns. As for the auxiliary firepower, it can be shouldered by a few secondary guns with a high rate of fire. As the hull structural modules are strengthened and improved, the attack intensity of the secondary guns on the battleship will also be increased accordingly, without any hindrance. In addition, and most importantly, the capabilities of shipboard fire are also limited. A standard warship that can integrate shipboard fire can only have one main gun slot, and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Quote. Wang Dong suddenly realized something. At this time, the tomahawk was already far away from the location just now. Wang Dong stared at the sky survey radar image and pondered for a while, stretched out his hand on a new coordinate point, and clicked again. Tomahawk, sail silently to this coordinate point. After giving the order, Wang Dong turned around and explained to Yuan Shu, the more I think about it, the more something is wrong. The tomahawk was over there just now and released Mie particles, which will not dissipate for a while. 
Within the range of MIE particles, it can greatly limit detection equipment and communication signals such as survey radars, but it itself is also easily detectable. As long as the Jin family's warships are nearby, they can easily discover the existence of the area covered by MIE particles. Although the celestial environment in the asteroid belt mining area can seriously affect the detection accuracy and breadth of sky survey radar. But who knows whether the survey radar on the other side's ship is of high quality. I think it's better to stay away a little further. Quote. Yuan Shu chuckled and said happily, your prospects may be three points better. Wang Dong's face didn't change, wasn't he just laughing at me for being cowardly? Am I being proud? That's called, following the heart, following one's heart and following one's heart, which is uneducated. While there is still some time, let me give you a brief introduction to some common sense about the fire battleship. Perhaps he thought Wang Dong's moves were a bit interesting, so Yuan Shu took the initiative to speak in a good mood. Wang Dong raised his eyebrows. There was no such link before rebirth. Yuan Shu just lay on the chair and said nothing more until he breathed his last breath. It seems that the butterfly wings have a slight effect. Fortunately, it's nothing serious. Our ancestor of human civilization is actually the seed fleet of a defeated civilization. Do you understand what a seed fleet is, right? Wang Dong nodded. When a civilization develops to a certain level and attempts to expand, it will send out a pioneering fleet. If a civilization is on the verge of extinction and wants to preserve the seeds of civilization, it will send out a seed fleet. This seed fleet, after thousands of years of escape, was lucky enough to discover the remains of a prehistoric super-civilization somewhere. After a difficult journey to uncover the heritage of the ruins, this seed fleet gained access to a mysterious creation, the fire source. Afterwards, combined with mankind's own racial technology, the fire stripped out of the fire source was used as shipboard fire, and integrated with the warships of a specific structure, the fire warship came into being. Quote. Yuan Shu's eyes were dark. Wang Dong also looked slightly startled. He knew a little bit about the history of the human civilization he belonged to. But this was also the first time he heard about the origin of the fire battleship. No one gave him any popular science before his rebirth. Normally speaking, the creations of different civilizations are rarely interchangeable. After all, the skill trees of different civilizations and races are somewhat different. It is simply impossible to remove the main gun from this civilization's battleship and load it onto another civilization's battleship for use. That is a scenario that only exists in fantasy novels. Quote. Yuan Shu continued. Wang Dong nodded in agreement. To give a simple example, even between two countries on the earth, the caliber of screws used may be inconsistent and cannot be used universally. What's more, between two interstellar civilizations, you are using screws, but others may be using bio-glue. Can this be used universally? But the fire warship is different. Through the unique module slots of the fire warship, even creations produced by completely different civilization systems may still be able to be used normally on the fire warship. What an initiative! And this is just one of the special features of the fire battleship. Quote. Yuan Shu became more and more interested. Wang Dong nodded silently. For this alone, the fire battleship is powerful enough. There are two types of module slots, standard modules and additional modules. Among them, the number of standard module slots on each fire warship is constant. On the destroyer type, there are only five standard module slots at the beginning, including main gun, armor, engine, radar, and energy shield. There is one slot for each standard module, for a total of five. The number of additional module slots is not constant. Depending on the quality and level of the hull structure, each fire warship has a different initial number of additional module slots. Basically between 1 and 3. Later, as the hull structure reinforcement level increases, the number of additional module slots will also increase. Overall, the number of module slots on each fire battleship is always limited and scarce. But it is undeniable that any kind of functional ship-borne module will often bring unique capabilities to a fire warship. This ability is often unreasonable and unpredictable. Of course, this does not mean that any civilization creation can be plugged and played on the fire warship. There are still certain special requirements. Wang Dong didn't know what the specific requirements were. Before his rebirth, he spent his short life on the road of evading pursuit and did not receive an orthodox education. 
he only knew that it might involve some mysterious rules. But this is normal. The existence of the shipboard fire itself, and even the fire warship, itself involves a large number of rules of the mysterious system, if everything can be explained clearly, is it still the mysterious system? However, Yuan Shu is here now, and he seems to be in a good mood. The Yuan family itself is also a member of the privileged class, and their ancestors were once rich, so they probably know a lot of secrets. Wang Dong's mind moved, and he asked every detail of his doubts. Mr. Yuan, what kind of civilization's creations can be used as shipborne modules for the fire battleship? It shouldn't be all, otherwise it would be too outrageous. Yuan Shu's interest is indeed good. He didn't take Wang Dong's interruption seriously, but explained with great interest, there is indeed a threshold. Only creations recognized or accepted by the shipborne fire can be loaded into the module slot of the fire warship. Used as a shipboard module. As for what the specific conditions are, there is currently no precise way to determine them. There are dozens of related research schools in the Amethyst Kingdom alone. But one thing is recognized. That is, creations that are entrusted with a certain belief, spirit, or hard work in the manufacturing process have a higher chance of being accepted by shipboard fire and can be used as shipboard modules. Quote, Wang Dong kept Yuan Shu's words in mind. This is something you should not hear before you are reborn. Sure enough, a camel is so skinny that it is bigger than a horse, so Yuan Shu still has the goods. Seeing that Wang Dong didn't ask any more questions, Yuan Shu continued to introduce. Compatibility is a major feature of the fire battleship. But if that were all, the fire battleship would not be the force that our human civilization relies on to dominate the interstellar world. Another major feature of the fire battleship is its ability to grow. Quote, Wang Dong's spirit was shaken, and here he comes. This is where his battleship game auxiliary system really comes into play. Relying on the special characteristics of the ship-borne fire, when the fire warship monitors a certain space signal, it can enter a different space from this universe with the help of the ship-borne fire. Based on years of research, we can basically determine that this alien space should be another universe different from the universe where our civilization lives. Fire warships can obtain the mysterious resource source point by fighting in a different space, destroying civilizational creations in a different space, or killing civilized life in a different space. Through the source points, combined with minerals or resources, each shipboard module mounted on the fire warship can be strengthened and upgraded to enhance the warship's combat power. The speed of this enhancement is much higher than the increase in battleship combat power caused by normal climbing of civilization technology level. Combining compatibility and growth, every fire warship is equivalent to a magical weapon with unlimited potential. As time goes by, human civilization has more and more magical weapons, which in turn feed back the development of civilization in all aspects. This is the fundamental reason why our civilization continues to grow stronger. What a magnificent fire warship, what a magnificent human civilization. Quote. Yuan Shu said this and patted the seat under him emotionally. Wang Dong also couldn't help himself. Travelers are also members of the human race and will naturally be proud of the prosperity of their civilization. So every fire warship has its own uniqueness, especially the fire warships that have been strengthened to a certain extent. It is almost impossible to find two that are exactly the same. Of course, due to the limitation of the source point acquisition rate, the fire warship cannot actually be strengthened and grown indefinitely. The so-called source point acquisition rate, simply put, is the efficiency of the fire warship in acquiring source points. The source point acquisition rate of the first generation fire warship is 100%. Then, every time the captain's authority is transferred, the source point acquisition rate drops by half. When you become the second captain, it is reduced from 100% to 50%. When you become the third captain, the source point acquisition rate drops to 25% and so on. The source point acquisition rate actually reflects the purity of the shipboard fire. Every time a captain is fused, the purity of the ship's fire will naturally be polluted. In practice, if a first-generation ship sinks a warship of a different space civilization and can obtain one source point, a second-generation ship can only obtain 0.5 source points if it sinks a similar warship, and a third-generation ship can only obtain 0.25 source points. Quote, after calming down for a moment, Yuan Shu continued. 
Wang Dong smiled bitterly. When the tomahawk was in Yuan Shu's hands, it was still a second-generation ship, and its source point acquisition rate was 50%. When it was passed to Wang Dong, it was a third-generation ship with a source point acquisition rate of 25%. In his previous life, Wang Dong suffered a lot because of this. Fortunately, it is not a fourth-generation ship. If the third-generation ships still have some growth potential and have certain cultivation value, the fourth-generation ships are basically used as tool ships. In addition, it is not that simple to obtain the source point. First of all, if the fire warship wants to enter a different space, the conditions are harsh. It must be in the void area of the universe, in this airspace with the simplest astronomical environment, that it is possible for shipboard fire to monitor space signals from different spaces. The process of capturing spatial signals from different spaces is completely random. This mysterious signal appears briefly and then disappears very quickly. The location where it appears each time is different, and there is no pattern at all. You may not encounter them once in two or three years, or you may encounter them two or three times a month. According to long-term big data statistics, on average, each fire warship can capture almost 1.8 signals from different spaces a year. Quote, Wang Dong smiled slightly. After the battleship auxiliary system is officially activated, the first optional function is different space signal capture. Only needing to consume one unit of low-level energy crystal, the system can assist the shipboard fire in capturing signals from different spaces. The most important thing is that this kind of capture does not require a special choice of astronomical environment. In other words, Wang Dong does not need to work hard like other fire warships, specially rushing to the empty void zone of the universe, wandering there all year round like a fool, waiting for the arrival of the god of luck. Instead, you can start a different space battlefield anytime and anywhere. This is quite strategic. Yuan Shu twitched his lips again, I like your confident look. Every young man believes that he will be the protagonist of his destiny. He understood Wang Dong's self-confidence from his status as a faggot, as the honey self-confidence unique to young people. Wang Dong spread his hands helplessly. Actually, everyone is the protagonist of their own destiny. Maybe, Yuan Shu sighed softly. Secondly, after capturing the signal from another space, it is not a smooth harvest journey. After entering the different space, the fire warship will appear in a random different space civilization territory. According to the different combat power levels of the fire warships, the different space civilizations they face each time are also powerful. If the fire battleship wants to obtain the source point, it relies on destruction. Naturally, there is no possibility of peaceful coexistence with these alien space civilizations. This kind of battle between different civilizations and races is the most cruel. Every year, many fire warships are lost in battles with civilizations in different spaces, and even the remains of their bodies cannot be recovered. Quote. Wang Dong couldn't help but sigh. The different space battlefields of the fire warships are fought in other people's lairs. Basically, one enemy is against many, and a few are against many. This is a real battle. If you die, you die. It is not a copy in the game and you can be resurrected. In fact, the number of fire warships possessed by this human civilization lost in battles in different spaces is higher than the losses caused by the expansion of territory in this universe. There is one last thing you need to pay special attention to. The emotion lasted only a little while. Yuan Shu quickly remembered something and said a little hastily. The initial strengthening and improvement of the shipboard module on the fire warship only requires source points and some common minerals or resources. However, as the level of strengthening increases, gradually the minerals and resources required will become more cherished. Especially after the initial rise of the privileged class, they began to consciously control the markets that cherished minerals and resources. Until now, the privileged class has basically monopolized this supply. You are not from a privileged background and cannot easily obtain those precious minerals and resources. This is a problem that you need to find a way to solve. Quote. Wang Dong nodded solemnly. The privileged class has completed its monopoly on high-end military force by controlling the fire warships within three generations and strictly prohibiting the spread of precious minerals and resources to the non-privileged class. And then achieve the result of stabilizing the dominant position. In this interstellar age, the difficulty of rising in class is much higher than that of the previous Earth age. 
the civilian class, no matter how much money they earn, cannot obtain controlled resources like the first generation fire battleship. The tool ships after the third generation ships are the ceiling they can reach. After explaining some basic knowledge about fire warships to Wang Dong, Yuan Shu's interest suddenly faded away. He said with some melancholy, the Tomahawk is actually just the most ordinary fire warship owned by my Yuan family. When the Yuan family suddenly encountered a disaster, the Jin family united with several major forces to wipe out the Yuan family from top to bottom. The more than ten highly enhanced fire warships owned by the Yuan family were all encircled, destroyed and sunk. As the last direct descendant of the Yuan family, I was lucky enough to accept part of the Yuan family's inheritance, and I devoted my whole life to the struggle against the Jin family. Unfortunately, the tomahawk is far from powerful, and I don't have any natural talent. This so-called resistance is nothing more than the harassment of a fly to the Jin family. Little brother Wang Dong, after you unlock the effect of the secret medicine, you should try to go to a foreign country anonymously to see if you can escape the Jin family's sight. The Jin family is indeed too powerful. Quote, Wang Dong's heart suddenly skipped a beat. This old guy wanted to test him like this before he died. Before his rebirth, Wang Dong had read in detail the relevant logs Yuan Shu left in the Tomahawk's optical brain. Naturally, we understand the blood feud between Yuan Shu and the Jin family, and how much Yuan Shu hates the Jin family. He would not be so foolish as to think that this was a sign that Yuan Shuren was about to die and yet he spoke well. If this is really the case, why didn't Yuan Shu directly remove the effect of the Yuan family's secret medicine on Wang Dong? In the final analysis, this is Yuan Shu's test of Wang Dong's feelings. Wang Dong didn't know what the consequences would be if he failed this test. But he didn't want to try. A person who travels a hundred miles is half ninety, and if he trembles at the last moment, he must get through it no matter what. Otherwise, how can you enjoy the final result? Mr. Yuan, given the nature of the Jin family, from the moment I became the captain of the Tomahawk, there was actually no basis for coexistence between us. Wang Dong said cautiously, Perhaps the Jin family is indeed too powerful for me to resist now, but precisely because of his power, I have no room for compromise. Even if I take the initiative to find the Jin family and hand over the Tomahawk, with the Jin family's style, they will never let me go easily. They would only think if I was hiding other inheritance from the Yuan family. I don't want to die on death row in the Jin family. Quote. After a brief pause, Wang Dong continued carefully, I dare not say that the Jin family must be destroyed, that would be too exaggerated. But there is no doubt that the Jin family is my enemy. I will make good use of this tomahawk and try my best to strengthen myself. I will wait quietly, and one day in the future, when the time comes, I will bring painful losses to the Jin family. I believe and promise that I will do my best. Quote, Yuan Shu was silent for a while and then said, I believe you are a smart young man and will choose the path that is most beneficial to you. In the end, it's the same sentence. Be careful with the Jin family. The interest is gone, so be it. There is also some information you need to know, including the Tomahawk's past tactics, etc., which are all available in the ship's optical brain. I don't have enough time to sort it out, it's quite messy, please forgive me. Quote. Wang Dong nodded silently. The conversation between the two ended here. Wang Dong felt slightly relieved. This test should be Yuan Shu's last attempt. Although there was no such incident before his rebirth, Wang Dong still handled it brilliantly. Return your attention to reality. Wang Dong did not forget that the tomahawk still had not gotten rid of the tail behind it. Before the dialogue, Wang Dong commanded the tomahawk and moved the hiding place twice. After the conversation with Yuan Shu ended, Wang Dong continued his operations. Over the next 10 hours, the above operations were repeated. I think the feng shui at this point is better. Tomahawk transferred. This spot looks very pleasing to the eye, why not go over and take a look? Tomahawk transferred. Hey, this feels right to me, that's all. The tomahawk is still moving. Comma. The tomahawk continued its transfer. Comma. The tomahawk kept moving. Comma. The tomahawk is always on the move. Comma. It wasn't until Wang Dong looked back one time and found that Yuan Shu had no breath anymore that he stopped mumbling to himself. Following your last wish, Mr. Yuan, I will send your body to the engine room of the tomahawk. 
When your body turns to ashes in the reactor, I hope your soul can merge with the tomahawk. As one body. Wang Dong lowered his head slightly and observed a minute of silence. In any case, Yuan Shu personally handed the tomahawk into his hands. This is the key to the door of destiny. Wang Dong must express his gratitude. Please feel free to leave the rest to me. Whether it is the hatred of the Jin family or the favor of the Yuan family, I will do my best. Waving his hand to summon two armed robots, Wang Dong personally destroyed Yuan Shu's body. Chapter 21 After completing all this, Wang Dong finally breathed a sigh of relief. He rubbed his face fiercely. My face is almost frozen. Acting is really not an easy task, even if you are playing yourself. Returning to the command cabin, Wang Dong skillfully sat down on the commander's chair and straightened his back naturally. The atmosphere in the entire command cabin suddenly became a bit chilly. This is the awe-inspiring aura that Wang Dong developed during his more than 10 years as a captain and fighting between life and death before his rebirth. Sitting in this familiar position, aura arises spontaneously. This has almost become the body's instinct. So much so that Wang Dong didn't dare to sit on the commander's chair the whole time. Fortunately, Yuan Shu did not become suspicious. To be fair, staying in a confined space with a being who can crush you to death is really not a good experience. Moreover, there are many things in Wang Dong that cannot be exposed to Yuan Shu. It was a bit hard to endure this time just now. Finally we meet again, old friend. Gently stroking the commander's chair under him, Wang Dong sighed with emotion. Since returning from rebirth, Wang Dong has tightened the string in his mind. Rebirth is certainly a good thing, but if you don't get the tomahawk like you did before rebirth, the meaning of rebirth will be missing. After all, it can be said that Wang Dong's entire career before his rebirth was bound to the tomahawk. If the existence of the tomahawk is put aside, Wang Dong will feel confused about the way forward. From the moment he boarded the tomahawk, Wang Dong had always restrained himself. It was not until it was confirmed that Yuan Shu had passed away that Wang Dong could completely liberate his emotions. It was a complete reversal from the deliberate jerkiness before. Wang Dong skillfully entered the underlying database. Different from the brief data queried before, Wang Dong opened the detailed full attribute mode and began to look carefully. Fire Destroyer Tomahawk, Comprehensive Combat Power Rating LV.6 Remaining Source Points 12. Source Point Acquisition Rate 25%. Standard module list. Standard main gun, green, LV.2, maximum attack strength, 23, charging time, 10 seconds, recharging time, buffer time, 50 seconds, attack attribute, kinetic energy, requirements for upgrade, 1. Source point 200. 2. 3 tons of copper ore. Standard armor, green, LV.1, defense strength, 11, material, Alloy, defense attributes, resistance to different attack attributes, kinetic energy 11%, particles 11%, laser 11%, mystery 0, upgrade points requirements, 1. 200 source points, 2. 20 tons of titanium ore. Standard energy shield, LV.2, shield durability, 130, regeneration rate, 1.2, energy consumption, 1 point per second, activation speed, 20 seconds, overload buffer time, 60 minutes, shield type, magnetic field, required conditions for upgrading, 1. 100 source points, 2. 3 tons of iron ore. Standard engine, LV.2, maximum power, 22, energy consumption, full power, 1 unit per hour, requirements for upgrade, 1. 100 source points, 2. 3 tons of gas mine. Standard survey radar, LV.1, exploration range, 10, accuracy, 10, conditions required for upgrade, 1. Source point 100, 2, 2 tons of Austrian copper ore. Standard hull structure, green, LV.0, hull structure strength, 20, additional module slots, 3, fire compatibility, 48%, upgrade requirements, 1. Source points 2000, 2, titanium crystal 1 unit. List of add-on modules. Feiju Jump Device Purple LV.0 Energy Consumption 100 Time Jump Speed 100 Times the Speed of Light Charging Time 1 Hour Buffer Time 24 Hours Additional Attributes Fast Jump Distance Within 0.1 Light Years Ignore Jump Time Instant Arrival 
fast jump function has a separate buffer time of 24 hours. Required conditions for upgrading. 1. 400 source points. 2. 1 unit of titanium crystal. Quantum Entangled Brainwave Manipulation System Green LV.0 Energy Consumption 1 unit per hour Effect When turned on, the captain can remotely control the warship through brainwaves Range 0.01 light years Requirements for upgrade 1. Source point 200 2. Gas mine 1 ton Mirage System Gold LV.0 Energy Consumption 100 units Time Charging time 1 hour Duration 24 hours, buffer time, 24 hours. Additional attribute. Mirage, the battleship enters a hidden state and has strong concealment, 60. Required conditions for upgrading. 1. 500 source points. 2. 2 units of titanium crystal. Material list. Main gun ammunition remaining. 123 rounds. Secondary battery ammunition remaining. 2012. Energy remaining. 2,298 living material remaining, 393 units. Sure enough, the impression was exactly the same as in the previous life. Five standard modules, main gun, armor, engine, radar, and energy shield. As for the hull structure, it is a rather special module. It is equivalent to the main structure of a battleship. After being integrated with the shipboard fire, the warship itself also undergoes a transformation in nature, becoming the carrier of all shipboard modules and also having its own characteristics. The former is a functional module that all fire warships have. A standard fire warship must have these five modules. A fire warship that is not equipped with these five standard modules is equivalent to a cripple or a disabled person, and its combat effectiveness will be greatly affected. The four secondary guns on the Tomahawk are not among the shipboard modules covered by shipboard fire. It belongs to the external equipment included in the scope of the hull structure, and its strengthening and growth is linked to the hull structure. Similar equipment includes the tractor beam generator, gravity generation equipment, life support equipment, etc. in the ship. These equipment are integrated into the hull structure. As the strengthening level of the hull structure increases, the performance of these corresponding equipment will also be strengthened and improved. Therefore, the requirements for upgrading and strengthening the hull structure are much higher than those for ordinary ship-based modules. For a normal green quality ship-based module, the source points required for upgrade are 200 units, while for a ship structure module, that number is increased to 10 times. For normal green quality ship-based modules, the mineral resources required for upgrading are basically some common minerals, while the ship structure module directly jumps to rare minerals such as titanium crystal in one step. Then there are add-on modules. The Tomahawk currently has three additional modules, the Feiju Jump Device, the Quantum Entanglement Brainwave Manipulation System and the Mirage System. The only three add-on module slots on the Tomahawk are fully occupied. Among them, the Quantum Entangled Brainwave Manipulation System and the Mirage System come from the Yuan family's own heritage. The remaining Feiju Jump device is an artifact of a different space civilization that Yuan Shu obtained by chance while exploring the mysterious ruins in a different space battlefield. These contents are recorded in the captain's log left by Yuan Shu. Various shipboard modules on the Tomahawk. The three modules of the standard module, the secondary battery, engine, and survey radar, are all marked in black fonts. This means that these three shipboard modules are all low-quality and inferior modules. The three modules of main gun, armor, and hull structure are marked in green fonts. This shows that these three shipboard modules are of green quality, also known as good products. The quality is a notch higher than inferior. The specific performance is that the performance is better, and at the same time, when it is strengthened and upgraded through the source point, the improvement is much higher than that of inferior ship-based modules. In Wang Dong's eyes, these six standard modules are all ordinary. The reason why Wang Dong values the Tomahawk so much is actually the three additional modules. The first is the Quantum Entangled Brainwave Manipulation System. Although it is only of green quality, the practicality of this module is quite good. It is even more significant to Wang Dong. If you want to own the Tomahawk without being exposed to the Jin family's sight and hiding your identity as captain, the effect of the Quantum Entanglement Brainwave Manipulation System is indispensable. In fact, without the Quantum Entanglement Brainwave Manipulation System, 
Wang Dong might not have chosen to become the captain of the tomahawk. This is important. The shipboard optical brain on the tomahawk can cope with some situations, but it cannot cope with all situations, especially when being hunted. This requires that there must be personnel on duty on the ship at all times. But currently, there is only one crew member on the tomahawk, Wang Dong. Without the quantum entanglement brainwave manipulation system, Wang Dong would have to stay on the tomahawk all the time. Such an obvious anomaly. Then, within a few days, Wang Dong's identity will soon be exposed. This completely goes against Wang Dong's insistence on staying out of sight of the Jin family. He didn't want to relive the tragic experience before his rebirth, when he was targeted by a big force at the seedling stage before it even started to develop. Only by relying on the remote control function of the quantum entangled brainwave manipulation system, could Wang Dong maintain his original identity as an interstellar miner on the surface and command the tomahawk at any time. Therefore, for now, the role of quantum entangled brainwave manipulation systems is irreplaceable. Next is the Mirage system. A golden quality add-on module. No quality means green quality and good quality. The higher the green quality, the higher the blue quality and the higher quality. Further up, purple quality, treasure. After treasures comes golden quality and heroic quality. It means that golden quality ship-based modules are the cornerstone of embarking on the road of heroism. Every golden quality shipboard module is a qualitative improvement for the fire warship. In Wang Dong's opinion, this mirage system can be considered a high-quality product among the golden quality ship-based modules. The principle of its operation is unknown, and it is a typical mysterious creation of civilization. After activation, the entire battleship will enter a hidden state. This hidden state is very concealable, and the surveillance radar of ordinary warships cannot detect its whereabouts at all. More importantly, the concealment performance of the Mirage system has a high priority and is not easily interfered with. In the description, the last, 60, refers to the fact that survey radars with detection accuracy below 60 cannot detect this concealment effect. With this value, the threshold is quite high. The current survey radar on the Tomahawk has a detection accuracy value of only 10. Except for the charging of high-energy weapons, normal navigation does not affect the persistence of the stealth state. Just like the stealth of the assassin profession, it is actually the first-class choice to save your life. The Mirage system is undoubtedly the most valuable module on the Tomahawk, even far exceeding the total value of the other shipboard modules on the entire battleship. As for the Feiju jump device, it is of purple quality and is a treasure. As the name suggests, a treasure, a cherished variety. From purple quality to higher quality ship-based modules, the number decreases exponentially. Every ship-based module of purple quality and above is a treasured resource for the privileged class. Take Baron Blackstone, the lord of Wang Dong's mining area as an example. He doesn't even have a purple quality shipboard module. And this Feiju jump device is also indispensable for the current Tomahawk and Wang Dong. Ordinary engines are suitable for normal space navigation below the speed of light, and cannot enable warships to break through the speed of light. As we all know, the distance in the universe is often measured in light years. Speeds below the speed of light basically do not have true space navigation capabilities. Obviously, for space battleships, modules like the Feiju jump device are indispensable. The purple quality flying horse jump device on the Tomahawk can support a speed of up to 100 times the speed of light. Considering its size, its performance is quite superior. Even more precious are its additional attributes. Only ship-based modules of blue or above quality will have additional attributes. This additional attribute is often its essence. Rapid jump, distance within 0.1 light years, ignoring the process of deep space jump, arriving instantly. This additional attribute is equivalent to providing the tomahawk with the ability to teleport once every 24 hours, approximately within 0.1 light years. This ability, combined with the concealment effect of the Mirage system, is the biggest contributor to the Tomahawk's repeated escape from the Jin family's pursuit. With the Mirage system, the Tomahawk's whereabouts will be difficult to track. Even the concealment effect of the Mirage system will be disabled when the ship's weapons are charged, and it can only be used for sneak attacks and stealth. The Feiju jump device gives the Tomahawk the ability to move quickly. 
coupled with the ability to quickly jump while hiding, escaping is simply top-notch. If he hadn't been betrayed due to human factors, I believe Yuan Shu could have continued to run freely for a long time. This is one of the reasons why Wang Dong is obsessed with getting the tomahawk. The two additional modules, the Mirage system and the Feiju jump device, already form the prototype of a tactical system. And whether it has its own unique tactical system is the biggest difference between a fire warship and whether it is a miscellaneous soldier or an elite. The core of the Tomahawk's tactical system is already in place. As long as one or two functionally applicable ship-based modules are added to it, the entire tactical system will be completed. In addition, a fire warship that yearns for the true sea of stars must have the ability to sail at faster than light speeds. In fact, there are not many ship-borne modules that have the ability to jump and are compatible with ship-borne fire. Of course, high-quality modules are very fragrant, but the cost is also high. The detailed data of each shipboard module has its requirements for strengthening and upgrading. The source point is essential. The higher the quality of the ship-based module, the more source points are needed for strengthening and improvement. The Golden Quality Mirage system strengthens and improves the source points required, which is five times that of inferior quality modules. In addition to the gap in demand sources, the premium of high-quality modules is also reflected in the second condition. Non-quality modules and green quality modules require the most common cheap minerals or resources to upgrade and strengthen. High-quality modules require rare minerals such as titanium crystals from the beginning. The titanium ore that Wang Dong mined before is already one of the most valuable types of minerals on the market. The price of titanium crystal is still more than a hundred times that of titanium ore. And there is no circulation in the market. At this moment, both the Mirage system and the Feiju jump device are in a buffering state. Among them, the buffer time of the Mirage system is 11 hours and 23 minutes. The buffer time of the flying horse jump device is 6 hours and 52 minutes. After Yuan Shu used it before, the buffering has not been completed yet. Wang Dong smiled. At this point before his rebirth, he was clumsily commanding the battle axe, facing the attack of the Jin family's warships in a panic. We can only delay time by relying on our familiarity with the environment in the asteroid belt mining area, the complex celestial environment, and the assistance of the system. The reason for delaying time is to wait for the buffering of the above two modules to end. But this time, he perfectly avoided the disaster. If nothing else, the Jin family battleship should still be searching hard near the place where the Tomahawk captured the Mine Master too. In fact, after his rebirth, Wang Dong had made several plans. Among them, after boarding the Tomahawk, relying on the accumulation before rebirth, with outstanding performance and a little bit of lies, to gain more trust from Yuan Shu. Try to see if you can avoid the trouble of the Yuan family's secret medicine. But after careful consideration, he dismissed the idea. What if Yuan Shu saw Wang Dong's outstanding performance and increased his expectations for Wang Dong, changing his request to kill a direct descendant of the Jin family to destroying the Jin family, or not using the Yuan family's secret medicine? But other more demanding methods. What to do? This is not impossible. So in the end Wang Dong adopted the most conservative plan with the fewest variables. Still pretending to be stupid, he took over the command of the Tomahawk. It was just that after obtaining the command of the Tomahawk, the strategic transition was made a little early. With this little bit of time in advance, Wang Dong took the lead and piloted the Tomahawk to escape deep into the asteroid belt, easily evading the pursuit of the Jin family's warships. While perfectly hiding its own existence, it also prevents the tomahawk from being severely damaged and maximizes the combat power of the tomahawk. Originally, the most important thing Wang Dong should do at this time was to check some of the information left by Yuan Shu in the ship's optical brain. Wang Dong did exactly this before his rebirth. The more information you have, the clearer your understanding of the situation will be, and the more orderly you will be when making decisions. Now Wang Dong naturally no longer needs to read the Tomahawk's logs to learn the Tomahawk's combat methods and so on. More than 10 years of experience fighting against the Jin family made him extremely familiar with the Tomahawk. To put it bluntly, even with his eyes closed, Wang Dong can complete the entire process of going to the toilet on the Tomahawk. So far, Wang Dong's plan has gone smoothly. Now that we have avoided direct contact with the Jin family warship, 
we only need to wait for these two additional modules to complete the buffering, and then we can return to the Mine Master 2 and continue mining operations. In this way, I can perfectly separate myself from today's events and still be an ordinary interstellar miner. The only hidden danger is whether the legendary Yaju will retaliate against the Jin Dynasty, and will be angry with the miners in the mining area because they have not found the whereabouts of the Tomahawk. There is no need to target a certain miner, just a few random main gun bombardments, and the chain reaction will cause the gravitational turbulence in the nearby airspace to produce a stress response. The mining area under that situation was simply in hell mode, and the near-air mining spacecraft simply could not withstand it. Quote, Wang Dong reasoned calmly, but after such a long time, there has been no movement. This hidden danger can be eliminated. Wang Dong stared closely at a small virtual screen on the right side of the command module. It was specially pulled out by him to prepare for the micro detector released from the front. Two hours ago, the results were available. More than 10 micro detectors were arranged to send back their observation results after the effect of MIE particles in that area disappeared. After Wang Dong previously commanded the Tomahawk to make a strategic transition, less than an hour later, a destroyer level fire battleship suddenly appeared there. Sure enough, it was Sima De who was that guy. From some details of this battleship, Wang Dong identified this battleship as the one who beat up Wang Dong, the rookie captain, before his rebirth. If you say you don't want revenge immediately, it's definitely a lie. However, Wang Dong is still quite confident. At present, it is really unbeatable. Sima Di Sao, a direct descendant of the Jin family, relied on the family, and his share of resource supply was far beyond ordinary people's imagination. His ship's overall rating exceeds LV.11. Compared to Tomahawk's LV.6, there is already a gap. In a head-on firefight, the Tomahawk's main gun would not even be able to break through the energy shield of the opponent's warship unless it hit 10 consecutive shots. The energy shield on the Tomahawk may not even be able to withstand two consecutive bombardments from the opponent. Of course, just because you can't do it head-on doesn't mean there are no other ways. Just like before his rebirth, even though the Tomahawk suffered heavy damage, Wang Dong spent a few days after temporarily escaping from pursuit, and after thinking hard, he finally found a way. Taking advantage of his familiarity with the astronomical environment, Wang Dong found a suitable ambush airspace. In the asteroid belt mining area, there is often gravitational turbulence. Some hidden gravitational turbulence is in relative balance within itself and is not visible on ordinary days. But when disturbance caused by external factors reaches a certain level, it will suddenly break out. This hidden and powerful turbulence is regarded as the biggest trap by interstellar miners. Wang Dong relied on his years of experience in mining areas to find such an airspace with strong gravitational turbulence. He was there in advance, looking for asteroids at a certain distance and laying a large number of air mines. Because it is within the asteroid belt, the effective detection range and detection accuracy of the battleship survey radar are greatly reduced. These air mine traps set by Wang Dong are difficult to detect due to the distance. Then Wang Dong commanded the Tomahawk to slightly reveal its whereabouts, and was immediately followed by the Jin family warships who had been searching nearby. After the two sides arrived at the preset battlefield, Wang Dong commanded the Tomahawk to spread Mie particles to cover the battlefield, and started a close-range artillery exchange in a last-ditch attitude. The shelling from both sides caused the disturbance to quickly exceed the limit value, the local stable balance in the strong gravitational turbulence was broken, and the turbulence suddenly broke out. The gravitational turbulence itself cannot deal with the fire warships with tough shields and armor. At most, it will cause some trouble. However, a large number of asteroids with air mines planted in advance quickly poured into the battlefield due to the influence of turbulence. They are the real killer. Set up air mines that can easily distinguish between ourselves and the enemy, and inflict heavy damage to the Jin family warships in the trap. Faced with an opponent whose engine module was severely damaged and incapacitated, Wang Dong beat the dog hard and eventually sunk it. Then the antidote was successfully obtained. Eliminate the hidden dangers of the Yuan family's secret medicine. Objectively speaking, Wang Dong's planning level for this ambush battle was quite good. The results are the most direct proof. He successfully defeated an opponent who was a level above himself. If it were in a virtual battle game on the Star Domain Network, this would be a perfect victory. Unfortunately, 
reality is reality after all. Wang Dong, who had little experience at the time, originally thought that in a complex airspace like the asteroid belt, he could ambush a warship without anyone noticing, and it would be difficult to find traces afterwards. He didn't realize that the fire battleship also had a black box existence. The result of the failure to completely destroy the corpses and traces was that the Jin family warships were subsequently dispatched to follow the special signal and find the black box. As a result, the whole process of this ambush fell into the eyes of the Jin family. According to the commanders sent by the Jin family, Wang Dong exposed quite a lot of information during this ambush. First of all, the captain of the Tomahawk has been replaced, and he is no longer Yuan Shu. According to Sima Disao's regular reports, Yuan Shu was seriously injured enough to cause death, and the Jin family's heart-killing dagger was the best protection. Even if extreme measures were used, Yuan Shu would not have more than 24 hours of life left after being injured. So, it was obvious that Yuan Shu was not commanding the ambush that took place a few days after the incident. Moreover, the style of this ambush battle was obviously inconsistent with Yuan Shu's previous fighting style. It can be judged that before his death, Yuan Shu transferred the captaincy of the Tomahawk to another person. Secondly, the new captain of the Tomahawk is obviously very familiar with the situation in the asteroid belt mining area. He is even familiar with it, and is well aware of the highly concealed invisible gravitational turbulence. Only then was he able to formulate this quite down-to-earth ambush battle. Once the two conditions are superimposed, and considering the location of the mining area where the Tomahawk was located at the time of the incident, the candidate for the new captain of the Tomahawk is almost ready to be chosen. Were there other people besides the local miners who were mining in the mining area at that time? So Wang Dong's identity has basically been exposed in half. Before his rebirth, with the help of several additional modules on the Tomahawk, Wang Dong had a chance to survive, at least not to be discovered by the Jin family so quickly. In the final analysis, his behavior was due to the Yuan family's secret medicine that Yuan Shu injected into him. Wanting to meet the conditions and obtain the antidote in just one year, Wang Dong at that time couldn't find a better way and could only take a risk. The risky move was successful, but the consequences were serious. Not only does it leave clues, it also increases the probability of Wang Dong's identity being exposed. It also made the tomahawk, which had already suffered heavy losses, further worsen the situation. So much so that before the tomahawk was repaired, Wang Dong did not dare to use the function of the battleship auxiliary system to enter a different space to obtain the source point. As for the mining star field and its nearby star fields, there are no factories capable of repairing the fire warship. Wang Dong also cannot reveal the identity of the captain of the Tomahawk. So then a long period of time, which should have been the development period, was wasted. This time, Wang Dong smiled playfully, who said that direct descendants of the Jin family are so difficult to kill? Who said that his only choice was Sima Disao? In addition, can the restrictions set by Yuan Shu on the Tomahawk's shipboard optical brain really only be unlocked by meeting specified conditions? You little fool of the Jin family, I won't play with you in the mud this time. The mountains and rivers are far away. See you in the future. After his rebirth, Wang Dong's vision was no longer limited to a mere corner, and he already had the capital to jump out of this small chess game. He clearly realized that at this stage, it was very dangerous and completely unnecessary to continue to entangle with the Jin family. So far, with the intelligence advantage brought by his rebirth, Wang Dong has done a good job of hiding himself from the Jin family's sight. As long as the Tomahawk doesn't appear again and Wang Dong himself doesn't expose himself, the Jin family will not pay attention to Wang Dong, at least in a short period of time. Over time, give Wang Dong time to develop. Not to mention a mere direct descendant of the Jin family. Even if it's the entire Jin family, Wang Dong dares to overturn it for you. Of course, it's just rhetoric, if you take it seriously you'll lose. Strategically despised, tactically we still need to pay attention. No more procrastination. Wang Dong quickly returned to the Mine Master 2, which was still in the cargo hold of the Tomahawk. The Quantum Entanglement Brainwave Manipulation Module has been turned on by Wang Dong. After being turned on, this module is directly bound to the captain's brainwave signal. Within its range, it can be connected to the battleship's command system via brainwave at all times for operation. 
open the cargo bay door. Wang Dong completed the link with ease and tried to issue a few instructions. Only when there were no abnormalities did he take formal action. As the order was given, the cargo bay door in the lower belly of the tomahawk slowly opened. Under the control of Wang Dong, the mind master too was like a dexterous swift, drawing a wonderful arc and gliding out of the tomahawk lightly. Close the cargo bay door. In response, the cargo bay door slowly closed. Perfect. Wang Dong snapped his fingers, controlled the mind master too, and quickly moved away from the tomahawk. Twelve hours later, Wang Dong relied on the quantum entanglement brainwave manipulation module to remotely activate the mirage system, and the tomahawk entered a hidden state. Afterwards, the tomahawk silently moved away from this area. Of course, Wang Dong controlled the distance accurately and did not let the tomahawk escape the effective range of the quantum entangled brainwave manipulation module. One day later, just like in the past few years, Wang Dong's mind master to return safely to KQ-03 carrying a large harvest. Land, deliver the ore, and go home. Everything is business as usual. There was no immediate attempt to use the auxiliary system's function, allowing the tomahawk to enter a different space and begin to harvest source points to strengthen itself. This is due to time. Wang Dong's normal mining time is about three days. Each different space battlefield lasts for 24 hours, which is a whole day. The entire process of Wang Dong inheriting the tomahawk has lasted almost two days, and there is only one day left for Wang Dong to speed up the mining operation. This way you can prevent yourself from showing any abnormalities. Concealing yourself is the current first order. On KQ-03, the sky is hazy and the air always smells of rust. The planet didn't seem to react to the arrival of the two fire warships. Wang Dong didn't do anything extra and went straight home. The next day, when I woke up, I stretched my back comfortably, causing a series of friction sounds in the joints all over my body. Comfortable. Wang Dong before his rebirth was not as relaxed as he is now. Wang Dong still remembers that the energy reserves on the tomahawk were limited at that time. After Wang Dong finally escaped pursuit, hid the tomahawk, and piloted the mining spacecraft back to the mining planet, he immediately thought about how to obtain standard energy blocks. Standard energy blocks themselves are not difficult to buy. It can be used by a variety of engines. Some large engineering equipment, spaceships, etc. can use standard energy blocks to perform functions. Each standard energy block is not large in size, 10 cm long, 5 cm wide, and only 1 cm thick, about the size of a palm. Mainly composed of high-energy fuel. The price is not too expensive, 1,000 yuan per piece. It is normal to buy 2, 3 or even 10 yuan at a time. But for a behemoth like the fire battleship, a dozen standard energy blocks are just a scratch. Each time the Mirage system or Feiju jump device is used, it consumes energy storage equivalent to 100 standard energy blocks. The quantum entangled brainwave manipulation system is also a large energy consumer. When it is turned on, it consumes a standard energy block every hour. Coupled with the consumption of battleship engines and other equipment, the Tomahawk requires more than 30 standard energy blocks at a minimum every day. The net consumption is at least 30,000 yuan a day. This is a game that the average rich second generation cannot afford to play. Wang Dong has a lot of savings, but he can't openly buy a large amount of standard energy blocks. It doesn't make sense. He still has to find ways to conceal his identity. Formal channels are inconvenient, so Wang Dong can only use underground channels. At that time, in order to secretly obtain energy blocks, Wang Dong came to the door and made a deal with a strange caravan leader. A batch of standard energy blocks were purchased at a price lower than the market price. As a consideration, Wang Dong gave the caravan leader an additional benefit fee. It costs a lot of money, but at least it alleviates the energy crisis. I don't remember who said it, maybe Brother Xuan. Wherever you walk, you will leave traces. Even if Wang Dong, just to be on the safe side, used a technique similar to, one-time contact, and deliberately found someone he didn't know to trade with. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the caravan is not a fuel-efficient lamp either. This is not a world full of NPCs. This caravan is under the command of a certain great nobleman in the Northern Star Territory. At this time, with the fierce pursuit between the Tomahawk and the Jin family battleship in the asteroid belt mining area, 
the relevant news was no longer a secret in the eyes of many forces in KQ-03, including the origins of the two fire warships and the reasons for the exchange of fire. Never underestimate the extent to which local snakes have information on their own territory. Wang Dong's abnormal performance, combined with relevant news, the caravan leader keenly discovered the value contained in it. It doesn't matter if he doesn't know Wang Dong, he will report the news directly. So, originally it was just the Jin family's pursuit of Wang Dong and the Tomahawk, but one more family became involved. Later, this great aristocrat in the Bahinia kingdom also intervened in Wang Dong's fate, bringing many adverse effects to him. Wu Hao's, the person in charge of the fourth caravan of Tianfang Roldom. Wang Dong wrote it down in his notebook. Definitely a tooth for a tooth. After his rebirth, Wang Dong also faced the Tomahawk's energy crisis. Tomahawk's current energy reserve is 2,072 units. Each standard energy block has an energy reserve of one unit. This reserve is still declining at a rate of more than 30 units per day. In other words, if it is not replenished in time, the Tomahawk will use up all its energy in less than 70 days at the latest. A fire battleship that had exhausted its energy and lost its mobility and concealment capabilities was lined up like a big fat piece of meat. By then, Wang Dong is very likely to lose it completely. Different from before his rebirth, Wang Dong seemed quite calm at this moment, and there must be no anxiety at all. A little trick. In the absence of standard energy blocks, energy crystals, as pure high-energy material aggregates, can also be used as emergency energy sources for fire warships. The disadvantage is that the cost is a bit high, and it may cause damage to the engine afterwards. Self-cultivation of an experienced interstellar mercenary. Wang Dong currently has three units of low-level energy crystals. If used in an emergency, it can provide the Tomahawk with an energy reserve of 3,000 units. It is enough to alleviate the Tomahawk's energy crisis to a certain extent. Therefore, Wang Dong does not need to take any unnecessary actions or take any unnecessary risks. Another risk point, eliminated. Put down the empty plate, to be honest, the nutritious meal does not taste good. I casually took a shower, changed into casual clothes, and got on the maglev bus to Maizu Internet Cafe at a nearby bus stop. The weather is not great today and walking is not a good idea. After a 35-minute drive, we arrived at Maizu Internet Cafe in the Central Business District. An 18-story duplex high-rise building that is rare in residential areas, with an independent parking lot, an exclusive central kitchen covering an entire floor and a rooftop leisure bar. The most important thing is that there are as many as 160, star-level instant messaging platform, access cabins. What a rich flavor of capital! Wang Dong stood at the door, smiling to himself. It's obviously a strong powdery smell, okay. A passerby next to him averted his eyes from the row of uniformed ladies standing at the entrance of the internet cafe and replied naturally. Wang Dong laughed dumbly. Wang Dong nodded with this familiar man and walked into the door of Maizu Internet Cafe. The customer service lady with a good face and a black and white uniform came quickly to greet her. Hello, sir, do you need an introduction? No, just open a regular cabin. Wang Dong took out a black card and handed it to the customer service lady. Okay, please wait a moment while I swipe your membership card. The customer service lady took Wang Dong's membership card with a smile and swiped it twice on the portable terminal on her wrist. Okay, sir, please go to the access cabin number 412 on the fourth floor. Maizu Internet Cafe wishes you a happy game. Thanks. In the lobby on the first floor, there are many advertisements for virtual games. In, Star Sea Journey, the Thousand Ships Brawl Mode is online. Wang Dong chuckled, showing a nostalgic smile. It was the holographic Starfield real-time battlefield strategy game that Wang Dong had mentioned to Yuan Shu when they were on the Tomahawk. Players take on the role of a battleship captain, command their own battleship, and fight against others. According to Wang Dong's normal living habits, he would go to an internet cafe to surf the internet two to three times a month. Every time I go to an internet cafe, more than 90% of my time is spent playing Star Sea Journey. In order not to appear abnormal, Wang Dong followed normal habits and came to Maizu Internet Cafe. Lie down in the black access cabin that is 3 meters long and 1 meter 5 wide, press the start button on the right, the hatch is sealed, and a soft female voice sounds in your ears. 
Can you please connect to the Star Network? Plug in. Confirmation completed. Amethyst Kingdom Telecom will serve you wholeheartedly. Comma. Opening his eyes again, Wang Dong was already in the cosmic space, with stars twinkling on all sides. A huge star in the direction of the zenith was emitting light and heat. It was the star of the galaxy in the mining area. What are the stars in the mining galaxy called? Wang Dong forgot. It seems to be KQH1. Nobody, who cares? Just like Wang Dong before his rebirth, and Wang Dong at this moment. Log in to, Star Journey. At the command, Wang Dong's perspective immediately changed, and the brightness of the sea of stars around him gradually dimmed. Instead, there was a giant steel beast, which grew rapidly from the distance of the field of vision, and finally stopped in front of Wang Dong. At the bow of the ship, a rough-styled kinetic energy cannon pointed into the distance. Around the hull, a total of four secondary guns with slightly smaller diameters are supported by hemispherical mobile turrets. They move around flexibly along the outer wall track on the side of the hull. At the stern of the ship, the light blue engine wake was gradually fading, and then a tractor beam shot out from the belly of the ship, shrouding Wang Dong. The next moment, Wang Dong was already in the battleship command module. He boarded the captain's seat in the center of the command module with familiarity. Two safety belts popped out from behind the seat and crossed to secure Wang Dong. On the virtual screen above the command module, the green indicator light representing the captain's position lit up, and then the standard baritone sound of the ship's optical brain sounded. The captain is in place. This ship is a mass-produced scout-class destroyer. The performance parameters are as follows. Main gun LV-1, armor LV-1, engine LV-1, survey radar LV-1, hull structure LV-1. The overall combat power is evaluated as destroyer LV-1, and the remaining strengthening points, 1090. Players whose current combat power ranking is lower than 99.9%, .9%, Captain, please continue to work hard. Quote. Familiar appearance, familiar interior. The Scout-class destroyer is a newbie warship in the game, Star Ocean Journey, and is given for free at the beginning. Its prototype refers to the initial form of the fire battleship. Of course, there must be differences. First of all, there are no battlefield killers like Mie particles, and secondly, the initial warships do not provide energy shield modules. To ensure the smoothness and gameplay of the game. A game is a game after all. Wang Dong's original intention of playing this game was to become familiar with the control and combat of battleships. Because other than that, he couldn't find any other better way to understand the space battleship. I haven't played this game for a long time. Before rebirth, I was busy being hunted. Besides, who would play this virtual game when there is a real fire warship? Wang Dong clicked on the game with a bit of nostalgia. Enter one to one random matching mode. Waiting in queue. Point three, two, one, matching completed. I wish the captain good luck in military affairs. Quote. Time. June 14, Stardate 10103. Terrain. Asteroid belt, radius 1 light minute note, light minute means the distance traveled by light in 1 minute, 1 light minute is approximately 18 million kilometers. Ships participating in the battle. Mass-produced Scout Class Destroyer LV-1 ID, Hanfang Mass-produced Scout Class Destroyer LV-4 ID, Novice Light Abuse. Victory conditions. One side is sunk or surrenders. Battle duration. 1 hour. The battle begins. As prompts flowed across the virtual screen in front of him, the next moment Wang Dong's battleship appeared in an asteroid belt. Asteroid belt, interesting coincidence. Wang Dong pondered for two seconds and issued the command, turn on the passive mode of the survey radar, use the engine to exert slight power, and adjust the position of the ship to the X01, Y02, Z01 position centered on the ship. The spatial coordinates are a three-dimensional system. The initial center point is defined to establish a complete coordinate system. The subsequent spatial positions can be positioned using the initial center point to facilitate operations such as distance measurement and artillery aiming. Among them, X is the horizontal axis, Y is the vertical axis, and Z is the vertical axis. In the asteroid belt, the exploration function of the survey radar will be affected to a certain extent. Without the energy response of the main gun or the full output engine, the LV-1 survey radar alone will not be able to distinguish warships from asteroids. Therefore, Wang Dong chose to use the passive mode of the survey radar. 
He did not actively detect the opponent, but passively accepted the possible exploration waves, and then calculated the opponent's position without exposing himself. At the same time, in order to prevent an attack from being discovered by the opponent first, the battleship was chosen to move to a nearby asteroid of moderate size as a cover. Only five minutes later, the survey radar in passive listening mode received the opponent's detection wave. Probing wave received, intensity 0.9, source coordinates X13, Y20, Z11. This is a, real, novice. He has no concept of covert maneuvers and just rushes forward in a daze. The engine is in second gear, using the asteroid as a node, approaching the enemy ship, and maintaining the passive mode of the survey radar. As you command, Your Excellency Captain. The ship's engine is in second gear, and the path diagram is modeled. Begin to approach the enemy ship. Estimated contact time, 8 minutes and 23 seconds. Quote. The active detection wave of, novice light abuse, never stops, and based on the changes in its position, the opponent's traveling speed can be judged. Even though Wang Dong only turned on the penultimate gear of the engine's five power levels, the speed of the two parties' approach was not slow. Just five minutes later, the enemy ship's position X10, Y10, Z05, distance 0.3 light minutes. After entering the range of the main gun, the ship's optical brain automatically prompted. Wang Dong observed the surrounding environment and found that there were many asteroids nearby that could hide his tracks. However, if he got any closer, the novices lightly abused sky survey radar would likely detect the energy response of the engine, thus exposing his tracks. The engine stopped producing power and remained silent. After thinking for a while, Wang Dong issued a new order, and the battleship of novice light abuse continued to approach at high speed. Wang Dong's position at this time is on the flank of the direction of travel of novice light abuse. The main gun of the LV-1 destroyer is a kinetic energy projectile type. Although the effective range is long, its projectile speed is limited. In order to ensure the hit rate, of course, the closer the distance, the better, especially in this situation where an ambush effect may be formed. Enemy ship's position X-10, Y-03, Z-00, distance 0.12 light minutes. Two minutes later, the moment came. At this time, the navigation trajectory of the novice light abuse warship was at an angle of nearly 90 degrees with the front plane of Wang Dong's warship, and the distance had been shortened to the limit of reaction speed. Charge the main gun to the maximum and fire automatically after locking onto the enemy ship. Charging countdown 10.9.8.7. Point point Warning, charging response has been detected by enemy ships. It's impossible for the main gun charging reaction at such a close range not to be detected, but it doesn't matter, the distance is too close. Keep charging, Wang Dong shouted firmly. 3.2.1, main gun fire. Although the battleship of, novice light abuse, detected the charging reaction of the main gun in close proximity, and started automatic evasion at the first time. But the distance is too close. The high-energy projectiles fired by Wang Dong's battleship's main gun hit the rear flank of the novice light abuse battleship, and the armor at the impact point shattered and flew away. The battleship of novice light abuse was pushed by the powerful kinetic energy, briefly lost its balance, and the hull tilted and began to spin. It is estimated that the enemy ship's tail armor is 80% damaged and the engine thrust is reduced by 30%. The ship's main gun will take 50 seconds to recharge. The engine uses the third gear to approach the enemy ship from the zenith direction. The main gun automatically locks the attack. The engine of the enemy ship is the first choice. Wang Dong relaxed after giving the order and leaned his back on the comfortable backrest of the captain's seat. The novice light abuse warship, which has temporarily lost its balance, will lose the ability to fight back in the short term. As long as it receives a few more main gun bombardments, it will be easy to retreat. As for getting closer to the enemy ship, it is to further increase the hit rate. Approaching from the zenith direction is to avoid the main gun attack direction of the novice light abuse battleship and prevent the dog from jumping over the wall. An easy victory. The opponent this time is too bad. I hope I can match up with a better opponent next time. Wang Dong said to himself with a smile. Not to mention the reborn Wang Dong, who has more than 10 years of operating fire warships and rich combat experience.
Even Wang Dong before his rebirth was considered a little master in Star Journey, and he could easily deal with a rookie of this level. A minute later, the second main gun accurately hit the engine of the Novice Light Abuse battleship, causing damage to the engine. At this point, the overall situation of this battle was decided. The Novice Light Abuse battleship that has lost its thrust has no power to fight back and can only act as a target. Failure is already a matter of time. The mass-produced Scout Class Destroyer LV-1 ID, Novice Light Abuse sent a communication request to this ship. Suddenly, a communication request was accessed by the ship's optical brain. Wang Dong saw that it was from his opponent, Novice Chaoju. I didn't want to pay attention to it, because this kind of communication is usually mainly abusive. But then I thought about it, it would be the first communication tonight, so it wouldn't hurt to answer it. Connect communication. Communication has been connected. Boss, don't fire off your guns. If you have something to say, you have something to say. As soon as the communication was connected, an anxious male voice came. Hey, this attitude is very correct. Wang Dong was slightly surprised that it was not a curse. Main gun charging stopped. The attitude is okay. Wang Dong doesn't mind spending a few minutes to listen to what the other party wants to say. Peaceful games, peaceful society. Thank you, boss, for not killing me. Listening to the voice, it should be that of a young man. His speech rate is slightly fast, which reflects the anxious mood of the person involved. Is something wrong? Wang Dong asked softly. Brother, look, let's discuss it. My winning rate is about to drop to 50%. Can you show your favor and give me a hand? Of course I'm willing to do it. Hearing Wang Dong's voice, novice Chow Tao immediately changed his title and directly called him, eldest brother. What do you mean? Wang Dong was stunned for a moment, then subconsciously searched for the interface and opened the, novice light abuse, record column. ID, light abuse for beginners, winning 148 games, losing 103 games, and 45 games, winning rate 50%. Well, the winning rate is indeed going to drop to 50% soon. As long as the elder brother makes a concession and sends a communication number, the younger brother will immediately give you a small gift package. Newbie Ching Sao quickly replied. Wang Dong understood that he had met the legendary money player. The small gift package is the lowest end Krypton gold gift package in Journey to the Star Sea. Wang Dong himself is not short of this little money. But this does not mean that Wang Dong should decisively reject the suggestion of light abuse for newbies, with the attitude of, I don't care about money, I am a real man. What's more important, a trivial game or a young man's small self-esteem? Who has never been young? Learn more about doing one good deed a day. Okay, communication number asterisk asterisk 59, I will click surrender as soon as the gift package arrives. If you don't believe it, forget it. Wang Dong smiled, how can I not trust my brother? I see that he is such a powerful player. How could he lie to me for just a small gift package? I transferred it and I will check it out. Light abuse for newbies, is unambiguous, and the words are quite nice. Wang Dong concentrated for a moment, and the information interface of his personal smart terminal popped up in front of him, and he found that there was already a message. The user with the communication number asterisk asterisk 31 is giving you a small gift package. P.S. Brother, please let me go. Please check. Wang Dong clicked to receive it, and the gift package benefits were successfully credited to his account. Nothing more than decorations in the command cabin and other gadgets. Okay, I have received your message. Apply to initiate surrender. The application is approved, ID, Hanfang. Dear player, would you like to confirm your intention to surrender? Once confirmed, a one-minute countdown will start. Confirm. Countdown begins. 60, 59, 58. Wang Dong simply initiated the surrender application. Amidst the endless thanks from the newbie, I abused him, the match ended with Wang Dong's failure. Wang Dong casually rejected the message from novice Chao Mao to apply for a game friend. Wang Dong did not immediately click on the next match, but opened his own record column first. ID, Hanfang, won 564 games, lost 421 games, and 160 games, winning rate 49.26%. Note, please open a chapter and ask for flowers and review votes. As we all know, 
every author, especially new authors, needs these supports the most. Brothers, you can't say that just because I didn't include price brackets in the chapter title, it doesn't mean I don't care about them. Of course, the most important thing is the book review. The main communication channel between us is book reviews. I will read every comment and reply as much as possible. If you have any good opinions or suggestions, please feel free to submit them. It's easy to say that you are a bit player. Please let me see you instead of playing single player, thank you. Gee, this winning rate is a bit embarrassing. However, it is understandable that the ships used are novice ships that have not been strengthened, and every battle is considered a level up challenge. The main reason why Wang Dong's winning rate is less than 50% is that he is overwhelmed by his opponent's performance. After the review was completed, Wang Dong was ready to continue the game. Wang Dong usually plays for 4 hours each time. According to the 1. 8 virtual game time ratio of Star Sea Journey, the actual game time is 32 hours. Although according to Wang Dong's current perspective, the operation of the game, Star Journey, has far fewer practical elements than a real fire battleship. But it's simple. It's nice to pass the time without thinking. Continue to enter one-to-one -one random matching mode. Waiting in queue. Point three, two, one, matching completed. I wish the captain good luck in military affairs. Quote. It's still a familiar electronic sound, and it's still a familiar taste. Time. June 14, Stardate 10103. Terrain. Cosmic Void Zone, Radius 1 Light Minute. Ships participating in the battle. Mass-produced Scout Class Destroyer LV-1 ID. Hanfang Mass-produced Scout Class Destroyer LV-5 ID. I love juice. Victory Conditions. One side is sunk or surrenders. Battle Duration. 30 minutes. The battle begins. Cosmic voids refer to areas of extreme material deficiency that often exist between river systems in the universe. Due to the gravitational force, various galaxies in the universe are pulled toward each other, forming huge galaxies. Each galaxy may contain dozens or millions of galaxies. Materials pull each other to form material-dense zones, which naturally creates corresponding material-poor zones. The void between galaxies and the void between river systems belongs to the aforementioned material-poor zones. Especially in the extremely material-poor zone between river systems, there is often not a single galaxy within a distance of tens of thousands of light years. The cosmic void refers to this kind of cosmic terrain. Many fire warships cruise in the cosmic void zone all year round just for this extremely pure astronomical environment. In order to receive signals from different spaces to the greatest extent, and then enter the battlefield in different spaces, obtain source points to strengthen their own warships. In the game, the background sound of this battlefield is, don't be afraid, just do it. Or translated as, don't try to hide, just send it. Wang Dong laughed, this was the greatest malice towards the novice ship. Enable survey radar active mode. There's nothing to say, so go ahead. The so-called Go's Eye does not exist in this kind of terrain. In just a few dozen seconds, the sky survey radar had feedback. Lock the enemy ship, bearing X-16, Y-16, Z-09, distance 0.5 light minutes. Warning, locked by enemy ships. Unsurprisingly, the speed of the probing waves is consistent, so when you observe your opponent, your opponent is also observing you. Engine in third gear, target enemy ship, move forward. As ordered, Captain, this ship sets off. After dozens of seconds, Wang Dong, who kept observing the data, frowned. At this speed, the engine should be strengthened. After dozens of seconds of observation, the acceleration of the I Love Juice battleship clearly exceeded the acceleration that the LV-1 engine can provide when operating at full output. It can be seen that the opponent's engine has been strengthened to LV-2. It seems that he is not a pure novice. In the game, strengthening the engine from LV-1 to LV-2 consumes 200 strengthening points, and strengthening the main gun from LV-1 to LV-2 also costs 200 points. Most players focus more on attack, so players who have strengthened the engine to LV-2 will most likely have strengthened the main gun first, to LV-2. It's a little stressful. Wang Dong smiled slightly. If the unstrengthened LV-1 armor is hit by the LV-2 main gun, the defense will collapse. If the same part is hit twice, there is a high probability that it will be directly blasted through, causing the ship to sink. 
The main reason is that in the game, the energy shield module is omitted, which makes many delaying tactics unusable. While speeding up the game process, it also reduces the error tolerance rate. Of course, if you can't fight hard, Wang Dong is not helpless. I have fought so many times with real swords and guns, how can I just sit back and wait to be killed? The enemy ship's position, X10, Y01, Z01, distance 0.3 light minutes. Two minutes later, both sides entered the main gun range. I love juice, fired first. Wang Dong did not order the main gun to recharge, and the hit rate at the extreme distance was not high. Moreover, the opponent's engine had a higher level of enhancement and greater mobility, so there was no need to waste firepower. Aiming adjustment engine at full speed, random evasion. Wang Dong immediately ordered. The orientation adjustment engine is located on the side of the battleship and is used to adjust balance and assist in adjusting the traveling orientation. The mass-produced Scout class destroyer has four azimuth adjustment engines, which are located on the four sides of the battleship. Evasion completed, the enemy's main gun is recharged. Ten seconds later, a high-energy projectile passed hundreds of kilometers below the Wang Dong battleship. More than 50 seconds later, a second high-speed projectile passed by the side of the Wang Dong battleship, only a hundred kilometers away. In the universe, this kind of distance is just passing by. The distance is 0.15 light minutes. Wang Dong still did not order the main gun to be charged. Switch to manual operation mode. Follow the order, Captain. Countdown for switching to manual operation mode. 3, 2, 1. The switch is completed, and I wish you success soon, Captain. Ha ha ha, Scout, attack. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.